I believe we, uh, we we rounded up some heretics, stopped the ship from imploding from said heretics, made a game plan okay. to invade a flotilla of Eldar ships to attack some kind of warp entity that is controlling said ships. And the plan, I believe, was yep. to fly forth on a Thunderhawk, or two Thunderhawk, in close formation, using an ancient Old One artifact to obscure our presence until we land on the primary vessel that we need to destroy. Yep, sounds about right. Once Aside from yeah. us having to clean up the bombs on our ship from the sabotage. Yes, I don't think we, land, we ever got those off. We land, we took some of them away, or most of them. Oh, uh, there's two on the bridge we didn't touch. Right. I think we ended with we stopped the bombs from exploding. There was some minor damage to the warp core, but otherwise it's... From what I remember, they were a trigger to go off when we got somewhere, and we never left for there, so they didn't go off. I think it was our remote detonation. No, it was a... They detonate when we get there. That's why it was on the navigator's console. Yeah, I think we removed them. Okay. I don't remember us removing them. Well... <laughs> I remember us investigating, finding them, and then the shit in the hangar happened, and we fought the dudes in the tank. Fought is a very yeah. loose definition. Massacred the dudes in the tank. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Obliterated the dudes in the tank. I don't even think there was actually blood left over after everything oh, that went on. It was like piles of gore, wasn't it? No, there was, there, was, there was a pulp of blood. I'm just saying, like, the amount of firepower we put into it, I'm pretty sure it would have evaporated or something else would have happened to If I remember blood. correctly, it was just a pool of blood at that point. If it was dried up or not, I don't remember. No, I'm pretty yeah, sure like, uh, it somebody ate them with a psychic shark, and then I shot a hole in it, so this, there's probably blood leaking through the under the ship. Just I just drained it. How did it make sense? Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> you you're still a Martian. Honestly, this is hell. very <laughs> entertaining. <laughs> still. Guys, I think we're going to have to purge your GM. The Xenos has taken him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is my fine now. Yeah. Yeah. It just might be just a stupid uh, laptop itself. Could be. Mm. Try not to move yeah. the laptop or yourself when you speak. No, I, just, I connected via phone, so... And the phone's connected to the, the internet, which is good. So I don't know what's going on. Discord being a piece of shit. Uh, so as I actually usual. don't remember you guys disarming the bombs on the navigator portion. Well, yeah, I think we just left off at the tank, and we still had time before right. we. And, yeah. I guess I asked Karnoff, but we just. Uh, be on high alert and go around the ship and investigate shit. Oh, I think we did a full scan on the entire ship or did a full search to find all the bombs, right? Yeah, we can do it again. <laughs> yeah, let's do that again. It wouldn't hurt. And if anything, it would only harm us if we failed to find any bombs we didn't find before. It's a good thing Moth already got a 3.9 awareness check. Success. Woo. Woo. What'd he get? Oh, 39. Nice. Yeah, he's able to discover the bombs on the bridge. 
Tease them. <laughs> the ones which were already there. Congratulations. Yeah, you the ones we already knew about. Cool. I didn't forget. <laughs> and saw them before. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, does he have... Oh, do you have skills and demolitions there, Moth? No. Okay, I'm pretty so you, sure yeah, I'm you know the, the demolition expert. Uh, you can get a demolition expert to look at it? Uh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, you know exactly where it's at. You see it, see two places where it's at. Well, the one at the helm, one at there. Like, okay, I, I definitely see these things. All right. Why are we rolling awareness? I'm just looking around the ship, scanning it, because they're just doing a second sweep. Ah. Just making sure there's no loose stuff left. Nope. You don't see anything else. No loose teeth or grenades. No. You guys searched the whole ship. Um, as far as you guys are aware, you're, you're able to... You got all the heretics out. Or the ones that were being slowly corrupted over. Especially when you did that, uh, that ability of yours. That ability. Oh, yeah, the, the praying thing. Where... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I and then Yomo's characters were able to discern that, like, uh, th these things are, it's subtly, it's subtly, uh, influencing people. Very subtly, and a, like a big, you cast a big net. It goes under the radar of the, uh, anyone. But, you know, Mug, your character should be able to, with that device, um, you can shield, like I said, you guys from all that influence. Yeah. So, Brasora, uh, the Inquisitor is asking uh, to report the current situation. Uh, I do so, I guess. All okay. right, I'm wasting him. Right, I forgot. <laughs> Because I kind of forget what it is because we haven't played in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of did a recap where the, the heretics on the ship were sabotaging the vessel. You guys discover that they're subtly, they're, the entity is um, doing subtle takeovers of things before it fully takes over. Oh, and I think we, they also knew we were going, heading out towards that ship. I mean, they yeah. The date. yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they had a, a spy network of some sort. Inquisitor Orthodermis is typing. Is an Inquisitor and an Orthodontist? Holy shit. Or, 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 that joke or, has or, already or, 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 been made. Still. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just need some good side income. Well, this doesn't pay very well after all. How, how, how do you think you got us those four ships? Yeah. An infinite pool of income is not very infinite after all, it turns out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a side hustle. Have you guys spent your points yet? No. XP points? Yeah, I did. Pretty sure I spent mine the moment we got it. Or it's chilling out on my character seat and I haven't looked at it. Ooh, I definitely didn't spend mine. I haven't spent my XP in like several sessions by now. 
You really should. I yeah. should, you're right. <laughs> it tends to help you play the game better. Yeah, true. Why leveling up? No, enemies are easier when you're level <laughs> one the entire game. <laughs> they oh, don't yeah, scale, absolutely. yeah. Uh, so, Inquisitor uh, Ordomos tells you, is like, I understand. Um, he, encourage you to, he encourages you to purge your crew then. The entire crew if you have to. And he's oh, willing to send over uh, personnel to help aid you in that. So we have to purge all of the crew on the entire uh, war march. Suggestion. That was more of a suggestion. <clears throat> I'm reasonably confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's, 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 what's up? I'm reasonably confident, confident we got them all. Okay, he trusts your word. Then he said, he says, the, okay. So the reason he's asking for your current situation, uh, he he noticed there was ex you know, a few explosions, right? And he's somewhat concerned. Uh, he's going to go ahead of, ahead of you guys by 15 minutes and engage the Eldar as planned so you can guys execute your mission. So he says, let me know when you're ready and he'll head out. Understood. Right. He's asking, yeah, that's why he's asking you to turn situation, make sure your ship's fine. He has no more replacements or can't wait any longer. Okay, let's get these bombs off the goddamn bridge. Right, who's gonna do that? Um, I step forward uh, out of the shadows and recommend to <laughs> Moth's character that I defuse the bombs because I'm somewhat competent with demolitions. Like how you thought you could fit in the corner in the shadows and it was just half your face covered only. <laughs> <laughs> like Slade from uh, Teen Titans. Mm. All right. Uh, he was actually sneaky, though. Yeah, true. So uh, I'm going to roll for demolitions to yep. get rid of these bombs and hopefully not cut the wrong wire because uh, that would be catastrophic. <laughs> Modifier. Uh, I'll give you a plus ten. All right. You're trained in it, right? Ooh, Thank yeah. God he got that plus ten. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, his rolls tend to be high. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh boy! All right, brothers. I've figured out how to defuse the bombs. Table one. Now do the next one. I suggest uh -oh. maybe, brother, that in your downtime you uh, train to better disarm bombs. Mmm. I'll give you another plus ten since you disarmed the first one. The Use plus some 20. of the experience you've gained with this moment to do better next time. Okay. You disabled. You disabled both both uh, bombs on the bridge, and your disposal team takes them out and. Uh, Destroys them like because they're heretical. All right. Okay. I'm gonna do a few rolls for your. Uh, we see. live to not explode another day, brothers. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll for your navigator uh, to <clears throat> to do that precision. So. Oh crap. Anyways, uh let's see. Hammer set out. You guys are ready, right? To go into combat? Uh, uh you sure, should determine yeah. what uh, what oath we're taking and what our objectives are. So that's your objective point. is to destroy the warp entity, that's your primary objective. I think it's your only objective. Uh secondary objective is, is the fleet survives. Um, the encounter, so if you can help the fleet in any way, do so. Uh, and the tertiary would be destruction of the Elder Fleet, corrupted Elder Fleet. All right. Oh, I know how we do this easily. All we need to do is just blow up the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Problem solved.
And how and do we do that? Stuff. I don't know. Is anybody got a Stargate? Uh, no. Damn it. No, you're, the captain of the ship has. He can navigate to get you as close as possible as you need to be to get to the in front of the ship. I already did the rolls for how the ship's going to perform. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, well, when you guys ready? Take your oath. Uh, yeah, what the oath is and who's going to be the leader of this strike team for the course of this mission. The team being be, uh, the leader. <clears throat> Since I'm leader of Death Watch currently. So I'm for gear area. mechanics... Game mechanics wise, you know, we take turns being the squad leader for each mission. Yep. Um, that way, you know, you can take different oaths, uh, which allow us to take different squad abilities. Take it, yeah. Plus, you know, the so. benefits, but, you know, each oath can only be done by certain specialties. Oh. Right. So, gotcha. just for everyone then. again, the following oaths are the Oath of the Stardies, which only a tactical assault or devastator can be gives us plus two to cohesion and it allows us to do tactical advance bolter assaults and tactical spacing the oath to the emperor which only a tactical librarian or apothecary can do gives us plus 10 to willpower tests Ooh, and the squad which, modes are fire for effect regroup and strong point which considering we're going into a warp infested territory would make sense mm -hmm. True. Yeah. Uh, there's the oath of glory Maybe. Which is tactical and assault marines plus one renown per objective, and tactical advance, bolter assault, and furious charge. Oath of knowledge, librarian or apothecary, plus ten to weapon skill and ballistic skills versus a chosen enemy, or oh. a or to uh, reroll a psychic phenomenon test. Um, What's a psychic phenomenon? That's when you roll. It's for me specifically. If I roll it's doubles, when he rolls real it's when bad. you roll multiple oh, of one. eleven. Oh, it's not bad. It can be. I could roll great, but still get a psychic phenomenon. As if I roll doubles when making a will uh, psychic check. Got it. Got I roll it. on the table. Does one hundred count as doubles? Yes, that's the only way you can get it. Oh. Um. There's, <laughs> anyway, uh, its thing is uh, go to ground, dig in, and strong point for squad abilities. Oath of loyalty, tactical marine, and apothecaries. Plus 10 to all tests to resist cohesion damage, and plus 1 to cohesion challenges. And it grants tactical spacing, regroup, and soak fire. And the last one, Oath of the Weapon, which is the Devastator or the Tech Marine. Uh, you can ignore weapon jams, reroll tests to confirm Righteous Fury. Um, which this one might not be that bad. Uh, and fire support, fire for effect, and tank buster. Since we're not fighting Xenos this time. We do have oh. to re-roll to confirm Righteous Furies. I mean, they're vote. Eldar ships. We might be fighting. Well, yes, but we're probably going to be fighting primarily uh, warp demons. Yeah. I vote we go with the librarian, the plus 10 to all willpower checks. That one. That's going to be the most useful, I think. Though Possibly. I might have something that can help with that, too. Though previously, well, when we were fighting, we didn't get any... Uh, there was there were no psychic attacks against us. There was only like warp. Yeah, entities. we were also weren't fighting on the normal warp entity. We were fighting on its ghost extension. We, right, we were fighting an extension of one, which may not attack us as badly. We're going to True. the core. True. Which is probably going to be a hundred times stronger, for all we know. Right. Uh, the. Other one, both of knowledge, is the uh, is plus ten to weapon skill and ballistic skills versus the chosen enemy, and well, clearly demon of this tech demon would be a cho our chosen enemy. So we'd all get plus ten weapon skill and ballistic skill against every foe. I think all all of the knowledge would be a good idea here. Hmm. So either that or oath of emperor, which gives us that plus ten to willpower tests. Yeah. Either one I can lead because I'm a librarian. Um, but if we do go over the Emperor, uh, a tactical brain can also lead that one. Watch Zeo lead us because she's technically an apothecary <laughs> and can take both. 
That's true. The apothecary can also take both of those. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. You did something? Uh, no, I did. Right, yeah. so, which one are we going for? I vote we uh, go with the willpower one. Okay, speaking on the willpower one <laughs> real quick, I do have an ability called Divine Symbol I can use that makes it so we can't be possessed and we get a plus 30 to all tests to resist psychic powers. Oh, wow. Be they pro be from possession or other sources. What's the range? Nice. Uh, I have to brand you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, it could just be your armor. It could be your armor, but it's I have to put a physical symbol on you. So, what about a prayer uh, sticker? Your Maybe sticker. I guess. I forgot the word I mean, for the sticker, the, for, You know the little wax seals with the, the prayer wax seal, yeah, uh, on it. You know the oh, prayer sticker. Another thing: demons and other sort and other creatures of the warp suffer a minus ten to hit the bearer with natural weapons such as claws and fangs. It doesn't I, work if you have 20 corruption points, though, guys. I oh, remove... Well, crap, I think we're going to have to worry about that one. Hang on. I remove my helmet and point at the back of my bald head and uh, instruct Moth's character to brand me. <laughs> there, there is a minor downside to this. Well, it's a major downside, actually. Oh, is it the I can put it on one person or... I can burn a faith point for the rest of the game and never be able to use or I can cut out one of my faith points entirely as in Oh god. I have 4. I will have 3 left in the entire game. Right. Forever. Wow. To do it. But I can put it on everybody. So, once you put it on someone, is that like a permanent thing or is this temporary the, just this mission? It lasts the game session or multiple sessions depending on how the DM Decides. So the so, mission. Oh, mission. Yeah. Oh, so you're branding someone. It's like this. you're branding someone. It you doesn't could, uh... have to be a brand, as in I burn it into your skin. It could just be like a necklace or a signet on their armor or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Or I paint something on them. A prayer seal. I just have to make a divine symbol. Uh well, if you burn all your faith points now, I'll allow you to do the whole team. And you want to do the no fate points forever? No, no, sorry. It's it's um, I would burn one from my capacity to do it. Oh, for, forever or just yeah, it's forever for, forever for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my thing is, uh, I'll if you burn all yours now, I'll allow you to do the whole team. So, uh, so what the thing is. So remember, he's saying for the forever, he will no, no, never be able to use fate again. No. no, this is just me for the session, if I did it this way. So basically, if you do it now, you will get them back. Okay, so if you just spend all your faith okay, right now... Yeah. If I spend all my faith them. right... Yeah. Burn, burn has a different use in this context. Okay, well, use. Okay, use. If you use all your faith points now, I'll allow you to put all the signets you want. Or the signets you want on on, on the whole team. Instead on the of armor. Burning, instead of getting rid of one burning. capacity. Yeah, Forever, just, um, yeah. I'm worried about uh, not being able to do other stuff later. But well, here's the thing. But, uh, but your signature only lasts a session, so. Yeah. Here's the thing, Moth. We still have fate points, so we can help you out if you get a shitty. Move. All all of my faith powers require fate points. Oh God. That's okay. how they work. Is that That's why, why they're so fourth? good. There's a reason they're this powerful. It's because they require a fate point to use, and their better effects are I burn one forever. I God. Can. There's there's one that allows me to, if I'm out of fate points and I have one left and I die, I burn that fate point, I come back to full health like nothing happened. Doesn't matter what happened to me, I could be missing limbs, I pop back up full health, full ammo, everything. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> Damn. Alright, but this power is just, what, plus 30 uh, willpower to resist being possessed and minus 10 to on demons to attack us. You are immune to possession. Oh, you okay. You have 30 to resist any psychic power at all. Okay. And you have a D6 
demons have demons and warp entities have a minus ten to hit you with natural weapons. What are you waiting for, sister? Brand me already. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, if we combine that with, like, the Oath of Knowledge for a plus 10 weapon skill and ballistic skill against everything, we'll be super buffed to shoot these things to death. Yeah. I'm kind of voting uh, Oath of Knowledge for that. For the plus 10 weapon skill and ballistic skill. If we're gonna... If the sister is going to spend all of her fate points to give us uh, those brands... Also, those brands those are players, permanent, players. right? They last for the no. rest of the game? No, no. Session. Ah, oh, the session. session. Okay. This goes to the session. That's a special. DM Got special it. for Moth. Well, uh, we can also just get extra renown and climb the the renown ladder faster. Because I think we're good. if we have the branding, we are pretty solid uh, on this mission against any demonic threats. We have the defense there, yeah. Did we get any renown for stopping the sabotage? That wasn't a mission. Huh? That, <laughs> yeah. That was okay. just, uh, no, that, yeah, you guys are playing, um, what do you call it? Intermittent, in, intermittent uh, sessions. Mm -hmm. I mean, the actual okay. missions. Okay. That was actually like a uh, prequel to the actual combat mission. <laughs> that makes sense. The yep. prequels. Okay, but yeah, I mean, renown, extra renown would be good. Although we only have like what three objectives this time. I mean, if we're yep. lucky enough, we can get like what three. Well, it would be plus one for the primary and plus one for the secondary. Well, no, it would be plus three for a tertiary too. Tertiaries by themselves don't give us uh, renown unless we complete three of them. So six maximum, basically. Yep, and you guys know there's, uh, what was it, four LR ships? Or more? Oh, if we can destroy each Eldar ship? Yep. That's tertiary? Yeah, each, Got it. Yep, each, one, each one's tertiary, yeah. For the Eldar, Eldar fleet. So we'd have to destroy three of them in order to acquire, to achieve the uh, tertiary renown point. Yeah. Wait, is each tertiary objective completed? counts as plus one renown so you by completing three tertiary objectives you get plus three renown or do you have to complete the three tertiary objectives you achieve the tertiary completion and you get a bonus to oh that. sorry tertiaries aren't counted for it i'm reading the description of the of the glory it's uh get an additional point for each primary and secondary objective the kill team completes Fuck. so it'd only be two additional renown so hold on, let me let me let me hold on. Let's see how many ships you have in your fleet. I, I know we marked that. So each one of those would be a a point towards you guys. I think you guys had four ships. Yeah, their ship strength. Looking up, got a foul, four Falcon class escort ships, and two cruisers. So that's six points right there for every ship that survives. So that'd be like a total of 12 points then if uh, all the ships yeah. survive. That's correct, if they all survive. Okay, I mean, that's a huge way to boost our renown. Including the one you guys are in. So that's 14 then. Yeah. So, well, that's uh, that's a good way to boost our renown if we can keep all our ships alive. Mm -hmm. So that might be a good one to get. So if we're our secondary objective is to keep our ships alive, we should probably once we reach the ship go as fast as possible towards the core of the ship or whatever to destroy the entity or wherever it is. Uh, should we bring some bombs with us? That would be a good idea. Yeah, probably. Too bad in, uh, that one guy's dead. Who had all the bombs on him, I think. What, too bad all guy? the bombs attached to the bridge had to be dismantled. No, I, don't remember, I don't remember all the loot that uh, Ancius had on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all the grenades. Oh. 
brother Antius. Oh. He just never had a whole forgotten. bunch of Kraken missiles. I still have two on me to this day. I have not returned them to the... Well, <laughs> I guess I would have... They're just your them. pauldrons now. They're just taped to them. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, I dare you. They're just like spiky pauldrons to me, yeah. He takes the, right. If I write my own name on this bullet, no one can shoot me with it. To uh, <laughs> the next level. <laughs> How many rack points do we have? Uh, fifteen on this one. Fifteen. Eight. Damn. Yeah. But we do also have that side bolter ammo, kind of as a free. Yep. Yes. That's free. Mm -hmm. I think we loaded up. Did we? I don't think we used our thing last time. But we, are, I am loaded up, so I don't really need anything. Well, it's probably going to be dark, so I'm going to take the Autosense goggles again. Because it's going to be dark, I presume. Maybe. Don't we have, like night vision in our helmets or whatever yeah yeah but that could get corrupted yeah the the autosense goggles gives, gives you an additional plus 20 at night but yeah uh... we the helmet does come with basic uh low light sight and thermals and stuff like that Uh, well, I'm putting 15 into the pot for uh, super big bombs that make ship go boom. Oh, yeah. What was it? Melted bombs? Melted, Melted bombs, bombs are like, what, 15 apiece or something? Something stupid? I'm going to throw my 30 rec points in for that. Your 30 rec points? Yeah, 15. Oh, I have 15? Okay, never mind. Well, I you're, forgot you're that the... it's not 30. You're the demo guy. You should probably I am the it. demo guy. True. Also, wh which oath are we taking? Are we I doing wish. glory for the renown? Are we doing knowledge for the extra willpower? Or uh, the next uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill? Or... We're doing the knowledge one, I think, because unless we're not branding. Oh, I'm branding you all. You're branding? Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, then we don't need the the Emperor one, which is the plus 10 to willpower tests. So yeah. one more uh, time, Moth, take us through what the branding does. Okay, you are immune to possession. You have a plus 30 willpower test to any psychic ability used on you. You have... Uh, enemies have a... Uh, Warp creatures and demons have a mind stand to hit you with natural weapons. Alright. So the question now is, is are we going to go for extra renown or plus 10 on weapon skills and ballistic skills against demons? I mean, renown would be good long term. Yeah, but if, if we can keep our fleet alive, that is a potential 14 points we just get. Which we kind of need if we want to get more powerful gear. Yeah, to get really any kind of gear. Yeah. True. So my my vote's for the extra renown. Same. What was the last thing that it does, Moth? Sorry, I'm writing this down. Uh, warp entities and creatures and demons have a minus ten to hit you with okay. natural weapons. All right. I just threw that in my talents because I don't know where else to fucking put it, but good enough. All 
All right. So, Melta Bombs. Mm. All right. Let's see. How many of those do I get? I guess they're, what, 15 rack a piece, so I get two of them? Mm-hmm. All right. Sweet. I'm going to do that. Would that be enough? Well, I guess if you blow up the reactor. Yeah. Now, my question is... There's four ships. I have two melted bombs. Wait, we need to, only to destroy the main Four ship. more ships. Four what? All I see is four targets to ram the main ship. There's at least five ships. The main target plus four Eldar ships. So we need five melted bombs, Sam, right? Well... We'll probably need the two to blow up the demon ship. Alright. We could, yeah. and this is crazy here to say, we could use the ship to blow up the other ships. What? Mm. No. No way. <laughs> I know. You're suggesting we crash a ship into another ship? No, you I mean, it's a, it's a big battle barge. Well, well it's, 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 it's a crazy ship. We have two crews. And some frigs. No, no, not our ship. Bunches. Not our ship, the demon ship. It's a frigate. It's oh, a pretty big ship. Oh, I don't yeah. think we can operate it yeah. normally. It, the, uh, the battle bars had been blown up. Because right, it right. was trying to take over it. And we finished blowing it up. So it's just not a little frigate now. Still, have you seen their ships? No. Warhammer ships tend to have that big bladed front. Mm -hmm. The icebreaker hull, you know, in case you encounter ice. Or the shipbreaker hull, space. in case you need to ram a ship. Yeah. Because your weapons are dry. Mm -hmm. Well, there there is a lot of ice in space. In fact, most most asteroids and comets are just ice. In fact, a lot of planets are just ice. And God damn! All right then. There's, there's a lot of ice breaking to be done in space. But void shields, though. I don't think Eldar ships have void shields. I think they do. They don't go through the warp, though. They travel through the webway. Don't they have yeah, like, they... just a hollow field or something? Which kind of like a void shield? They have, they have well, other not... technology. Right, they don't have Geller fields, but they might have void shields. All right, so we're taking Oath to Glory, which means our tactical marine is going to be our squad leader for this, and we got at least two melted bombs. I can trade in back oh, my water sense goggles, and we can have three melted bombs. Ooh. So let me do that. Actually, yeah. All right, sweet. Actually, give me one second. I All right, Mr. Tyson, you now have three melta bombs. Excellent. <laughs> I will most certainly not accidentally fuck up with these and destroy the entire kill team. Please upgrade your demolition skill. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. You know, you just disabled a couple bombs. You had a spike of inspiration and gleaned so much insight from it that you were able to gain another level, but if you haven't spent any XP up to this point, you may not have a high enough rank to be able to get enough. Yeah, we'll do it yeah that it, is true. Time. I remember, uh... I remember looking into that. 
Because I think the next rank for Demolition is three. Ah, well. I've got Fate Points, a dick, and a dream. I think we'll be fine. I'm not sure how one of those uh, really affects our situation, but okay. <laughs> you got an additional six rec point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's don't forget, each Space Marine has an innate plus ten to resist psychic powers. Do we? I'm yes. actually gonna. Send, yes. Hold on, where was it? Nice. So that's a plus 40 now that we have to resist psychic powers with. Here. Alternatively. Uh, it's rank 4 to get demolition plus 10. Alternatively, this is just a quick summary of what each thing does. Ideally, each one of you should have that in your sheets. All of this? Yes, that's uh, standard Space Marine stuff. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you get that from your implants and training. Huh. But it's kind of amazing how no one gets, like, extra bonuses to get, like, demolitions earlier than just the standard Space Marine rank. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, let's see if the advanced specialties do. Well, you gotta be, like, renowned rank a billion to get those. To get what? Specialty, get... uh, special specialties. Ah. Yeah. Let me, let me know when you're all ready, and we can begin. I think we're ready, aren't we? Um, looking, uh, yeah, yeah, we are ready. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. Yomo, you ready? Yep. I'm ready to get here. absolutely destroyed. Yeah, so your navigator, uh, you know, he sets the coordinates. <laughs> But you guys get the signal to the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor, you guys see the Inquisitor's fleet warp out ahead of you guys. You guys are timing it. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's why your captain keeps saying. You see his little uh, wristwatch that you guys have, right? Not so rare, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's timing it. As soon as the 15-minute mark hits, he uh, warps you guys in. I'm assuming you guys are all in your th the Thunderhawks, ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it's going to be two, two Thunderhawks, unless uh, both uh, the Death Watch Squad and my squad of librarians can uh, all fit in the same one. They can fit in one if you wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. We'll be putting okay, all our so, eggs in uh, one basket. Oh, what are we doing again? Sorry, I was not paying attention. No? We're flying in. We're flying in. Hell yeah. All right, right. Okay, so... Uh, first instance the captain gets you exactly where he said he would you guys as you guys are departing you see just a hail of fire from the eldar vessels coming in pummeling your guys' vessel uh the hangar door kind of creaks and moans and explodes you guys are able to fly through and as you leave the part definitely know the ship behind you is gone explodes into a bajillion pieces 
You can see shrapnel all around you guys. So Our the car you flew in on has just been obliterated. That's correct. Well, yeah, this fuck. well I guess that border was go? far more damaged than we thought it was. <laughs> no, they really badly, my friend. The, the Eldar just fucked it up. It's it like yeah. they anticipated you were coming. But you already knew that because they set bombs up to and everything, so... Um, well, apparently the bombs... fire. Because the enemy fire, the ship was destroyed. Wait, All but right. didn't... Oh, I can't even remind. Apparently the fire. bombs were of no Eldar consequence had... because... Right. They tore the ship apart anyway with just regular yes, weapons. Yes, but they, they knew we took off the bombs and they knew where we were jumping in at, so they shot ah, that immediately okay. when they timed it. Got it. Damn. The, 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 they, you assume they at least knew you guys were coming because they look like a look like a trap from the get go. Anyways, uh, you see like four ships, kind of sitting there in formation, and they're uh, departing from that. You guys see them uh, go somewhere else, and then you guys see your guys' target. You guys are heading towards your target, and you guys bust through. Uh, one of the hangar bays. Let me do it. Let me pull you over. All right. Guess that? Top right. Top left. Top left. All yep. right. Top left. Okay. Here oh we go. Oh my god! <laughs> so many. Uh, and. It's Thank a full compliment. I am Deja Legion. vu. Your leader? No, I am Legion. Which upon, ship did we take? Embark, yeah, upon like embarking on the ship, I immediately like take lead and just just trying to assess the situation. Oh, uh, you see those entities from the last mm -hmm. ship. You also see uh, guardsmen and other other obviously working with this thing. Uh, on the vessel, and they're setting up machine gun posts and everything. They're just waiting for you guys. Um, From briefly looking at this, uh, are they finishing setting up the machine guns, or are they still in the process of doing so? Uh, they're, they're, guardsmen. they're obviously like they're, they're in the process of their emergency putting this shit up. You guys just breached the, uh, the hangar door. Okay, so we have time. Okay, great. So you guys got you guys can uh, fire up a couple rounds before we start the match. Uh, Thomas, before we would have landed, do their turns. Before we Again? landed, uh, would I have been able to get off my um, time bubble thing? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll definitely prevent those things from warping in on top of you guys, so that that bullshit won't happen anymore. Uh, what was the other thing it did? We, we wrote, you wrote it down, right? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was able to prevent them from warping in top of them, so, but you have to focus in on it, so you're, you can't really use any other power because you're focusing on it. Um, and if I recall, your character wasn't able to use the full potential of that device, but it creates a bubble 100 meters out from you. Or, yeah, 150 yeah. meters out from you. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Um, and that prevents the any warp entities from warping in or spawning on top of you, because that's what this thing can do. So they get they have to move naturally to get to you. So Alright. Any modifiers for running down bullets? Say again? Any modifier to ray down bullets as soon as we do uh, docked? Uh, let's give you a plus 10 since so you got caught them. Basically, the guards with their pants down, and the entities kind of just like were coming out of the floor there. Are you what using a side cannon bolts or your bol uh, bolts? Regular. Okay. Again, the guardsmen? The hallway? Guardsmen, yeah. Okay. Wait, we're shooting at the guardsmen? What? They are uh, evil guardsmen. Yeah, oh. any guardsmen that have been left alive on this demonic vessel, they're, 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 they're heretics. 
They're their evil idiot guardsmen. Well, they can just be evil normal kind. guardsmen. Uh, I didn't spend it hard enough. You really want to know the damage against guardsmen? Yikes. No, I think, I think let's see, I'm just going to start erasing people until I feel that's enough. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nine hits. Seven armor penetration. I don't think they have okay. two armor. Nope. <laughs> and nine. That's nine. You just see a, a fury of blood. Blood and guts blow, exploding up everywhere around it. Oh, that God. area where you start. <laughs> Why did you roll again? Did he, did Wait, he get a... Uh, that was not... That was the wrong roll. That was my two hit roll, not my damage roll. Okay. Here we go. I'm a dumbass. At least I got the bad roll out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're one of hundreds, yes. Yeah. <laughs> God, a fucking 86. So, where were you firing at, Neil Tyson? Uh, the guards. Oh. Bang, bang. Uh, uh, dead. There's no more guards. <laughs> yeah, it's in the D. I mean, there's one over here, you flap. Alright. Alright, anyone wants to shoot? Uh, anyone else yep. need to shoot? If no one wants to shoot, I'm going to charge it. Okay. Boom. I'm shooting. Oh, Hold you're on. shooting. Okay, Hold I'm on. not shooting. Get I've on. got eight mini me's to take actions. Surprise round. Uh, roll initiatives. Mini me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, they're surrounding me. Uh oh. Don't worry, they're friendlies. <laughs> oh, it's his librarian. Uh, Moth, where are you shooting at? Uh, that dude right there. With Psy Cannibals. How, How much damage do you do? Uh, I forget what the Psy Cannibals do. Wasn't it like stupid crazy? I think it's double? Uh, basically, uh, it, it like ignores all of their resistances. Yes. Uh, that was double damage. That's minus 26. I think it's... And double against... It adds your... 5 to all crit inflicted. Uh, double their rolled damage against targets with a psi rating. And they it ignores their armor and toughness values. Yep. So, yeah, oh, you hit pretty so good, Bob. rolled damage. Yeah, so you did... Uh... It's not quite dead, but you fucked it up pretty good. Alrighty, cool. Bada bing. Uh, and... So before you go charging in... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there's going to be about to be a, a wave of psychic bolts being thrown in there. I could probably take them, to be honest. <laughs> Are you I mean, kidding? It would guys, turn your you brain into jelly. I have an armor rating of 32 in my weakest spot. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw uh, eight checks in here, just to uh, throw some warped bolts down there. Alrighty. Uh, and these are all not, uh, you know, being not rolled you. back. They're not being, you know, full full power. Is this, is this your other other uh, crew members there? Yeah. Squad? Okay, there's eight of them. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, no, no, that was a matter. crit. It doesn't matter. No, uh, those don't matter. That was a hundred, okay. though. But, uh, they're, it's all fettered, so it's restricted, and there's no possibilities of rolling on a table. Even on a hundred? Yeah, even on a hundred. Oh. Yeah, even on a hundred. Yellmug made sure, made sure to tell me that. I was like, damn. Yeah, because I didn't want that nonsense to come back at me. It well, felt like it went right now. I mean, already. I rolled a hundred before. It got bad. <laughs> Nerdle shotgun.
Yeah, yeah, no, it is it is all fettered, which means it's half power, but there's no chance of me rolling on a table. And even if it was 100, I just have to roll on a table. And then there's a 25% chance it's bad. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's, a it's a 75% chance of just being irritating. Um, but that's one, two, three, four of them that succeed, uh, which is 2d10s. Oh, it's five. Is it five? Is that is this is one, this an AOE direct attack? No, only four hit. Only four hit. So ignore that last one. Uh, no, it's an AOEs. They're all they're all AOEs with armor pin of two. Okay. Didn't we establish that those guys have a crazy high armor? Yep. So yeah, they yeah, do. probably. They didn't do anything to these guys, <laughs> but it does kill the uh, the two guardsmen over here. <laughs> Again. Oh, no, no, no. There's, there's a couple more up here. They're dead. There you go. Okay, now you can charge them. I think the Garzman is more for logistics and fighting. So, wait, yeah. How much damage do you total? Let me, go, let me look. Let me you might have given a point of damage. Let me look up their... Uh, let me look up their armor. I think it was something stupid, stupid crazy. It was like 20. Is is twenty eight? Oof! Right. So I don't. Uh, is that over twenty eight damage? All of it? No. Oh, uh, in tech? total, it's uh, twenty, thirty, forty, uh, like forty two points of damage. Okay. It's... So the let me get calculator out. I'll, I'll calculate that. I don't. I don't want to jip you there. So With our 40, powers 40, combined. The pal is investing in me. But there's 14 points of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do our powers combined nonsense. That's fine. The 14 gets through. Uh, the next time, I'll just roll however many hit as uh, a combined dice damage pool. Okay. Instead of, you know, rolling them each. I was trying to make it simple. But yeah, yeah, I was trying yeah, to make it simple. That's what I'm saying. Oh, how, how about this? How about when I do the power, then it's... I make the power at, like, plus 20... Uh, and then however many degree successes I get, that's how many dice I roll. Okay, that works. Cool. As long as it's the first system, you're not automatic winning all the time. Well, yeah. There's there's eight of them. Yep. So, I mean, with a plus 20 on my low power, yeah, that, that's, there's still a chance to fail with that. And if it rolls right. high, then it might just be one hitting, which won't do anything. So, I think it's fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. I was just trying to make sense, like, because uh, calculating all, all, all eight is like, man, it's going to be a headache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I just make one attack roll, and then my degrees of success is how many dice I roll. Wait. Hey, so you did hurt them. Oh, this one's dead. This one exploded. I still need to go. Actually, I you know what? Oh, I'm going to uh, dispend this uh, move, uh, getting frenzied. So okay. I'm not going to do anything. But you still have one guy to charge. That's no. That's uh, I'm spending this uh, turn getting frenzied. That's how, He's that's going turn. berserk. Okay. Uh, I guess we're rolling issues now. No one's not doing those. Do we have? Oh, the, the screen did not pop up. Do we have? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me do that. Do we have the bonus, the double uh, ability bonus, or not? <laughs> uh, no, we don't have the double agility. Okay. I burned all my fate points to make us uh, immune to possession. We can give you a fate point to make that if you want. That's not how that works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move everyone from the turn order, and then just add yourself because I remember last time it was funky. So. Yeah, now I would agree with Moth on that uh, that uh, fate point thing. Sharing for rerolls is one thing, but sharing for ability activations is another. Oh, ability activation. Okay, got it. Well, I need to remind myself. Which oath did we do? 
Uh, we did the glory. So if we, the more we accomplish, the more renown we get. Gotcha. Then, uh, then I'm the one that's the leader. Then. Yes. How do we? How do we do the initiative roll thing? You click on your token, uh -huh. and then if you have a macro, you can click on it. Or just uh, look at the panned and death watch channel. All right, here we go. Yeah, I fully recommend making that Let's a, uh, a macro if you have not done so yet. And how do I do that? I just put that in my character sheet somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, character sheet, attributes and abilities, and there's a abilities tab. You ah. click add, and then you go in there and add the code. And we're gonna call this. Okay, I got four cool. people on the on the board. We're missing. Who are we missing? Uh, the allies. Oh, uh, go ahead, roll for the since the year squad. Um, I'll add to the ticker and then just tell me the number. Uh, eight. His average agility is four, so eight. Eight. Sweet. Everyone, uh, ready? Got the, got the thing in? I believe so. Right. Okay, so I guess they, they, the, the entities go first. Yeah, they got uh, a high roll, Jesus. Yeah, so they're going to focus fire on the lead guy here that I see. Are they that, like old Kercaradons or something? Why are they so huge? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Inquisitor <laughs> Orthodermis is attacking us. Oh god. Oh no! no, no. Oh, oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> I forgot to switch it out. My apologies. No, <laughs> it's a good laugh. Uh, how many Suddenly, so Inquisitor Orthodermus bursts forward from the shadows and attacks with the laser rifle. Fortunately, oh, though, everything misses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget they have a plus minus. Three, four, five. Uh, oh, no, what is it? Mind. What? Are, is are, it are, melee or natural? It's like, just claws and okay, sure. talons, right? It's a uh, natural weapon. <laughs> oh my Man. god. They, so it they depends on if a mechanoid lies rifle is a natural weapon or not. Well, it's like a part of them. That's why I imagine. That's why I'm asking. They so, miss yeah. every single Which, shot. It is amazing they missed all of those, considering <laughs> they have a 70 they're rolling against. To be fair, they were hanging out with guardsmen. <laughs> they were running yeah, very <laughs> They have a ballistic skill of 50, though. You're giving them plus 20, so they have a skill. They're rolling against 70. No, I, oh I'm aware. God. Yeah, plus 20 because of how close, close that guy was. What the fuck? Um, they missed every lap. They whiffed it all. <laughs> you guys go. Uh, Dominguez, go. <clears throat> that, 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 uh, your, your librarian just sat there and just watching these guys stormtrooper it, I guess. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what we don't know is that this guy is actually a part of the Rebel Alliance, and he's a main character. <laughs> there you go, he has plot on him. There you go. What's his name? Uh, Luke Sky Junkie. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sky Junkie. He's looking at Wait. this. Uh, Wait, I need he's to write a rebel down to the, the Empire? We need to kill him. <laughs> right, but the evil empire. We're the empire. Yes, but the evil one. We are the empire. We are There's... the evil empire, technically. <laughs> no, we're just so, a very harsh. The thing empire. is, you loaded it with regular <laughs> rounds, right? The last set, the last thing. Yeah. 
Uh, so all you have is regular rounds. Uh, do you have another weapon on you? Yeah, I do. Have a, I do have enough we uh, another weapon. Okay, cool. And you load that with your uh, demon slaying stuff, then. Yeah. Sweet. Light it up. My uh, modifier. Plus twenty. They shot at you guys. Or it might be even plus forty because you guys are half range, and then uh, what else? What was the other oh, thing? Oh yeah, I forgot we get bonuses like that. Yeah. Then I get then I get four point six. Okay, do your damage. I forgot how the regular pull fire with full fully automatic works. <laughs> it's the same thing. Well, it's just... You're limited by uh, your rate of fire. So that's. So I got uh plus that okay so I should be four point six and I can only fire four I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever the uh yeah four is the the rapid fire, or the full auto. And remember, you get to roll an extra d10 to replace the lowest die value in each of these, which you're gonna want to do because there's a lot of roll roll, roll rows on that. Yeah. Because so that's four. Okay, well, the first one go. is going to stay the same. The second, the second one, one is... Uh, Four plus nine. Is seven points better. Didn't I make a macro for this? Let's see. Third one's the same, and the last one is seven points better. Also, you got a Righteous Fury with that one. And you have to reroll to a hit. Go for it. And that's still the same modifier, plus 40. Yeah, same modifier. And that's just one extra hit. Which but you we still can roll again. Yeah, and you still get that extra D10 with it. Cool, which does improve that one. So, total damage is. I'm going to ignore the the first one because I doubt that's going to do any damage at all. Doesn't he have double the da double the damage and ignores armor? Mm, that's using right, that one it does, yeah. doesn't it? Oh yeah. Double roll damage. That's eighteen twenty-two. That's eight, that's eight plus five. Instead of nine, so what? Thirteen. Thirteen for the first one. Double uh, it too. I think it doubles no, 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 it. No, no, no. You point. double the roll, not the modifiers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he rolled four. So that's eight plus five is thirteen for the first one. Okay. Uh, nine and four. That's thirteen. Twenty-six plus five. Thirty-one for the second one. Well, the, well, this this critter's dead. Um, so I'm just going to delete them. Okay. Uh, if these end up hitting another target. Yep. Okay. Uh, then, uh, what was that? 11, so 22 plus 5, 26. And then uh, 10 and 6, 16, that's 32 plus 5, 37. Okay, so another one's dead. That's two dead. And then... Uh, 11 and 5. No, no, 22. Uh, that's 27 for the last one. It's hurting. It's barely like a tentacle out of the ground now. <laughs> <laughs> After that happens, I just say, thank you for the cybernetic bolts. Right, so sorry, go. You are welcome, brother. However, I was not the one who supplied them to you. Rasora did. And the ah, Inquisitor. Yeah. Rasora did, and the uh, Inquisitor uh, ordered them. Delicious. Or have. No, brother, don't eat the bullets. Hey, are either one of these two alive? <laughs> what did they die? Yeah, they're both alive. Oh, okay. You can't tell me what to do. I'll eat these bullets yeah. if I want to. I'm deleting them as soon as they die, so... And then you see he's alive. Look, I know crayons are snacks for marines, but come on. <laughs> these are extra spicy crayons. <laughs> oh, boy. They must be Crayolas. The edible version. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see that? One of them just ate their own bullets. <laughs> I think they're stupider than we are. 
God, that reminds me of that one meme where it's like a piece of paper and there's like two dots and it says it's like marine aptitude test using a crayon draw a line to connect the dot on the left to the dot on the right you have one hour to complete the test do not eat the crayon <laughs> <laughs> did you know on amazon they actually sell edible crayons Oh hell yeah! Oh, I need to. I need to fucking buy. And they're that. called tactical snacks. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we uh, we give them to uh, the Marines that come over here for training occasionally. <laughs> You're joking? No, I'm not. That's like we know. You can't we know real fast which Marines are the ones that are good to work with, and which ones are irritating to work with. <laughs> Almost immediately after that. Yeah, if they don't laugh, damage, by the way. if they don't laugh, we All know right, they're annoying. <laughs> All right, for sure, did you already attack? Oh, you did. Uh, let's see. How much damage did you 24. get through? 26 and 24. Okay. Dead. And the other one was, uh, is it not double the damage or is it, is it 24 damage? 26 and 24. Okay, first one died. The other one's really badly hurt. Okay. Uh, Ericlades, go. Cool. I step forward. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to focus on uh, not letting things teleport near us. So, yeah, that's my turn. Oh, shit. That's all he can do. I was so. just joking. <laughs> I was uh, just joking. Uh, Yomug, your team is up. You can move all eight. Sweet. Let's I love hear. how there's eight of them. You got an eight, you rolled an eight. So each oh, one nice. rolled a one. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's hear what's a normal move. Oh, cool. Five. Awesome. As a, like, a full action? No, as a half move. Oh, okay. The body mass is slowly moving. All right, cool. Uh, and they're going to throw that bolt at that one that's left. Okay. It's dead. I, I didn't even roll dice. Okay, roll dice. <laughs> it's dead. Okay. It's dead. <laughs> Did it have like one hit point left? It had like seven. And that's way more than seven. <laughs> Thirty-one is often know. greater than seven. I don't know. They could. They could have had all ones. It's possible. Pretty sure eight yeah, is still bigger than seven. Dead, so you got it. Hey. Okay. Uh, any target you see, you can, you can go attack. You can tyrant, go. All right. Um, I'm going to move forward into here. And I see that there's some enemy fuckers that are down this way. So I'm going to fire at this guy in full auto. Uh, full auto is full action. Better. You move so you can only take a uh, oh. move round. All right, semi-auto. Cool as well, but. I'm going to do my two-hit roll. What is that, plus 10? Because he's within half distance. Plus 20. Plus 20? All right. Here we go. Looks like I hit. And I'm using I'm assuming the... you know that there's five bolters. Yeah, it's true. All right, just make sure what you have loaded. All right, here we go. Uh, that was the wrong thing. Sorry. There we go. Oh boy. Please roll that extra one d ten. All right. 
Get rid of that one. I can do that? Yay. Alright, so that one becomes an 8. So that's 32. Plus 5. 37. Uh, it's dead. It just blows up. Boy. Alright. It explodes in a big, big fiery ball of flame. Fiery ball of flame? Department of Redundancy Department. Big fiery ball of flame. Well, it could be big fiery ball of I don't know, something else. Gas. Gas True. flames. Just a descriptor. Is that your turn? Karnoth, go. That is my turn. Uh, okay, is there something uh, below there? Uh, yes. Okay. There is one more thing. Uh, how do I... Uh, uh, how do I like chain my movement? What was it control and left click? What was it? Right click. Right click. Oh. Damn it. Does... <laughs> ah. When I play, press right click, it just goes away. Once Shout away, out to I, I... Karnoth getting the lowest initiative role when he's the melee character. Yeah, my luck. <laughs> uh, so, I hold left click and then I hold right click. But no, but it just goes away. Is it Do control right click? I'm trying. No, it doesn't work. It's shift right click. I'm pressing shift and right click and nothing happens. Hold left click, hold shift, press right click. I can't move it. It's just uh, my screen is getting stuck, and if I click anywhere else, it just disappears. Oh well, we'll do it the good old way, I guess. Uh, 35, and is he here? Can you point me in, in the approximate direction where he is, Tess? Yeah, hang on, I got you. He is right here. So right here. All right. Number six. Basically within seventy meters. Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. Is he within sixty five meters? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you if you cut this corner here, see what, right. here, so you can cut this corner, it's like 25, and then that's another uh, 40. Alright, basically I make it. Very cool. Alright. Sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hit. thing. That's all you need. You just, just oh, move. 96. And he gets oh. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Minus, and then minus 28 for its armor. Well, how much is it? Do, but you got the Five penetration, though. Oh, five penetration. Okay, yeah, so it's 23. 23. So, so it's 20 gets through. Go ahead, do your righteous fury. Alrighty then. Same modifier for me. Yeah, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey, get to do it again. <laughs> oh, god. And, and that was a wrong row as well. How, how cool. <laughs> but still works. 18 plus 20, it's dead, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's right. your roll, what you want, but it's, 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 it's certainly dead. Already up to first two hits. Yeah. Oh so, my god. Go ahead and describe how you killed this thing. That was actually pretty badass. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, in the beginning of uh, this, I guess, encounter, I just enter this uh, s state of meditation while every like chaos ensues around me. And then once I open my eyes, all I can see is just uh, like. I guess you can say blood, or I can say where I need to go and kill my enemies, and then 
the first thing I see is this pile of bones and metal and las guns, which uh, I uh, first I uh, crush it with my feet, and then I just keep on uh, bashing it like a barbarian with my sword. Not really even slashing, just 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 bashing it <laughs> with God. sheer strength. But what the rest of us see is uh, Mr. Karnoff getting irritated at every time he goes to try and charge something, it dies. Turns towards another thing, it dies. <laughs> Turns towards another thing, it dies. Screams in fury, runs around the corner, and then we just hear a horrible rending sound of chainsaw massacring something. <laughs> so Karnoff chainsaw the corner, massacre. We won't know if he killed something or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except Timer. Ty Neil deGrasse Tyson. Only he knows the truth. I'm looking on in horror. And then I turn around and tell the rest of you, uh, yes, Karnov did indeed destroy that one thing that he's attacking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have visual I confirmation that it is dead. <laughs> Are there any other enemies, or is this... None of them in the vicinity. Oh. In the, in the uh, but the door in front of you is, is shut, though. This door... You did, you did see those guys coming through. Uh, let me see if I can hide. Your vision? If I, I vision, saw them... Our beings will be blind. So if, if, if we saw them and, and the door closed, I would know that they're no. there. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still frenzied. I must go where enemies are at all times. So I will charge right at that door if it's closed and attempt to open it with my bare hands. Just pry it open. Well, hopefully you have a gloved hands and not bare hands. Oh, gloved, of course. Oh, is it my turn, though? Though you don't know what's underneath there. I might be a bear. Uh, that's true. I mean, you could also oh, be a uh, trapper that shows your um, hands and bears. And bear well, the door is shut, so the turn, turn sequence is there. You guys can move about now. You guys have the first encounter. I'm I'm trying to open that door. Uh, Karna <laughs> doesn't care. I <laughs> just move all that once. You guys see him flashing at the 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 door. Ah, oh, let me in. There's bad guys over there. Uh, Second squad like, murder. I would like to use my strength uh, roll. Can I any modifiers? Uh, minus minus forty. Okay, that's minus thirty. Oh. I succeed! Holy hell! <laughs> you really succeed in doing? Oh my god! <laughs> he rolled a one. I I like with screeching no. sounds barely I'm, it opens yeah, up. Just, so you guys just see this assault marine grab the bomb of this blast door and just angrily with his blood rage lift it up, breaking shit and like slams it up, opening the door. You guys get a surprise round. What the door is not he doesn't God, kick the door, perfect. sending it flying into the bugs and killing half of them? I think it's upward. Too heavy. He lifts it up. He lifts it up. It's like a door that slides down. Oh, it's a okay. Does it yeah, like yeah. if I once I lift it, does it stay there or do I need to keep it? No, no, no. You it, you threw it straight up. It's broken up upwards above you. Okay. So, cool. I that charge the, at the first up. thing I see. <laughs> right. So you can get <laughs> twenty. Anyway. There is the fuck? You're in fact, guys. I mean, Karnoth is just whatever. It's like, I want to get in there. These poor sons of bitches are not going to know what's hit them. Holy shit. What about um the guys up north? I see three guys up north. There's more right. guys there. Don't worry yeah, that's about That's why my uh, librarian squad is directly pointing their minds at them. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys are all in shock, but yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely see them. I think that guy might be dead. I'm not sure though. Yeah, yeah he's super dead. <laughs> he's dead as fuck. Well, that depends. How many more times do you want to roll an attack roll? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So that 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 uh, Imperial Guardsman's dead. Uh, yeah, but how dead? Very dead. Yeah, and then the, the one next to him, he's also dead. <laughs> I think just uh, 
shrapnel from the body and bones got sprayed into his partner and killed him with just the cadaver being thrown out by the chainsword. Yeah, exactly. Just slicing through. Uh, hey, uh, Dominguez, you're up. you can go up next and shoot the closest one. Yep, I'll just go in, turn left, <laughs> and fire. <laughs> and that's very close, so it's like, what, plus 40? Right. Uh, no, it's, plus, uh, it's plus 10 for half range. Another plus 10 if you're within like 5 meters or 10 meters. Okay. So, and then it depends on if you're doing semi-auto or full auto, but technically okay. you can't do semi if you move, but we've been ignoring that one. <laughs> So, I naturally just do plus 40. <clears throat> so, it'll be plus Eric. 50 then? Yeah. Oh, do your damage. I mean, did you really need to throw 10 bullets into this one <laughs> sorry guardsman? There's oh, more. It's towards all of them. Oh, there's, there's, more there's a lot more. Okay. There's a lot more in there. Okay. There's like seven guardsmen there. My line of sight isn't. Eight, me. actually. Give me sight. Oh, One, two, three. How many rounds is that? Oh, God, a righteous fury. I think they're dead. <laughs> they're all dead. So that's <laughs> thin right paste. Left side clear. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see except for the mangled corpses of Imperial Guardsmen. Hey, uh, or sorry, you're up next. It's your closest next. The surprise round. Alrighty. Guess I pop around this corner. I'll shoot the uh, this guy over here. Well, the door's that door's shut. Never Sorry. mind. Don't shoot that guy over there. There's just no. I can't see him. I guess I'll shoot this <laughs> lonely guardsman. Yeah, but say <laughs> that'd be nice. But the door's shut. I think, I think he's just gonna There's faint after what, what he see well, what I did. So oh. do we see? Do I want to be Kato's? really evil, or do I just want to be? We've you know already I can established take it. we are the evil empire. Yeah, you also know I can take it if need be. Because right. I have this thing attached to my weapons that I haven't used yet, and Here's I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Because, well, it's the, your time to shine. Do you guys think yeah. that Marsman seeing all of the extermination, do you think he has a final word? Yeah, it's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's enough to kill on the first one. That's, that's, that, that's, 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 that's his He's face. also on see. fire. <laughs> those, those were uh, exterminator charges, by the way. Those were flamethrower bursts attached to my pistols. Oh, my oh, yeah, God. Go ahead and describe that's how you kill him. He's a marshmallow. There you go. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Okay. Well, the fire, the fire's run over. You killed the next encounter. Uh, did we? Did, did I see enemies behind that door, or is, was that door always closed? It was always closed when you came in, but you assume there's enemies there. Do I hear because anything you... behind that door? Or you hear movement, you hear scuttling, you hear like, uh, sounds like someone's ratcheting up some co some sort of gun. I, I woke up to the door. I <laughs> 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 got bad guys to shoot and everybody else's turns to go through. Well, oh my there, God. Wait, there are no more uh, people to shoot. Yeah, yeah there are just three I mean, guardsmen in this room. There. Where? In this room. There's, there's one dude right here I can see. Oh. There's three of them. Oh, whoopsie. There's okay. about to be three of them because it's my turn now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, can we just say that uh, that my librarians around me go on my turn because they're the same initiative order, basically? Sure. Cool. Uh, we take our five foot step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's sad. It's only three. What are, you trying to, what are you trying to kill? <laughs> the three guardsmen. guardsmen. The three guardsmen. Oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a little bit more up there. Um, yeah. So they're... Yeah, they're probably dead. <laughs> they're just such 
They were in such shock. What the fuck happened? Oh, good. That's another roll I get to do. <laughs> oh, God. That's better. <laughs> They're dead. Oh, Jesus. The, the 44 kill all three of them. It's like... Yeah, they're all... They're all good. <laughs> all three dead. It's like, it's... What just happened in, like, 15, 20 minutes? It's like, anyway, we just started blasting. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> at the scope of what's happened in-game, like, six seconds. Like, yeah, maybe two, true. at the most. Do Ten I have seconds have passed. Yeah, do I have the same modifier for this door as well? Uh, <laughs> mine, yeah, minus, minus 50. Minus 50? Okay, 40. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh no! no. Plus, plus 40. Oh shit, sorry. That was a plus 40. God damn it. I, oh, no. I mean, Wait, you still succeeded. You rolled a 22, though? which I'm pretty sure was a success for last time. Would have been a success for oh, last time. Oh my god. The well, duality of doors. Actually, would it have been? No, it would not have been a success. Uh, ten. Yeah, it would have been. It still would have not have been. You're, you're rolling. You're rolling for a sixty. Uh, Karnoff yes. overestimating sorry, his sorry, ability yeah. oh, okay, to open right. blast doors. As you are rolling for a twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so twenty would have failed. Yeah. All right. So I did not get through, but I keep on bashing oh, my. Was your legs <laughs> yeah, struggling to open up the door? I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay. Good. Give us uh, give us time for our uh, teleportation bubble protection to uh, get, catch up to you. <laughs> but so, uh, uh, as you're as you're saying that, um, hold on one second. I gotta get this little thing. You see a guy pop up around the corner, and take a shot at one of your guys. You can try. He hit? Oh, damn it. But uh, uh, he, he dodges. He doesn't need to dodge. Hit, he hits for 11. He hits oh. one of your guys for 11. Oh, cool. Oh. He failed to dodge, and uh, he takes no damage. Right. <laughs> well, you done fucked and up, Or 11 doesn't do, do any damage to your guy? 15. Where, did, where does it hit, anyways? What did he get? 38. Which is... Chest? Like your strongest uh, part, right? leg. Oh, okay. My I'm, leg. I'm sure you're armored enough to take uh, 15 to the leg, right? Hang on. It was a 5? He rolled a 5. I'm pretty sure that's a headshot. But he didn't roll a 5. He rolled a 38. Which oh, I'm sorry. I rolled a 5. Okay. Yeah, he rolled a yeah, 83, which is leg. It's a leg. Right leg. Yeah. Yeah. Which right leg, we're 4, using... 10, 11 damage. The uh, default the space marine armor is like 20, four. isn't it? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, with 4 pin at 16, 11 doesn't go through 16, I'm good. Yeah, okay, but he does hit you. Cool. Uh, he's about to get um, <laughs> <laughs> eight librarians to the face. So he hits you. Okay, what else? <laughs> and we're not the sexy kind either. <laughs> Sexy librarian. Oh man! <laughs> Just imagine the skirts in that armor. <laughs> oh my god! They've got legs all the way down to their ankles. That is how legs work. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Well, if we're just free flowing this, I'll take my step forward and just obliterate him. The step attack. You look like a space station, you know? They should be, like, orbiting you at the same time. Yeah, true. <laughs> Especially when you turn around and they all, like... <laughs> you might have Brain to survive dead. this. Okay, good. Really? Uh, I don't know. He I don't know how we're calculating... I don't know how we're calculating the uh, the penetration with this. They have no armor to begin with. So just 12 <laughs> damage then. Yeah, and they have 5 health, so they just die. Oh my god. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Five health, that's like nothing. Jesus. Exactly. So, start to see more come out. The crap shoot. <laughs> And you see their hands raised. Cool. Uh, I had the perfect answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He got to tend to... Oh. oh, but only 26 damage to all three of them. Oh, okay. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> Do you want me to go up there, or you got that corner? Do you really need to hey. ask? It might be good if we send the ravenous hound up there and let him slaughter the lot of them. <laughs> uh, as, you left. as you say that, I'm still... Crying at the door, still trying to get it open. It's, you know, maybe make sure he doesn't break the door oh so our tech break can get through. I, uh, I tap Moth's mind. character on the shoulder and I say, Hey, if that guardsman is a marshmallow, then maybe we should go find some more. Get out, kill yourself. <laughs> Just open the airlock at this point. <laughs> Librarians <Landed>. gain target. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Say it again. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> I just see circles. Uh, I'm not it. going to say it again. So, uh, so what I'm going to say it. I'm going to say s'more. No, I don't do that. The librarians have had a chilling effect on my terrible puns. And as you say that, you hear like a loud thud, repeated thud of a, of a steel <laughs> against like a door, just repeatedly. <laughs> Open up! Just, just Open smashing up. his head against the door. Everything. I'm just throwing my entire body at it at this point. Just... I quickly run away from the librarians and try to assist Karnoth in opening the door, and I'm going to use it with... <laughs> I'm going to use my starter servo arm to try and open it. <laughs> it would be really funny if there was like this whole time there would have been a button next to it, which would have just opened it. I'll be, I'll, I'm gonna start clearing the north since we haven't really seen. Oh, oh geez. no! Oh, a right. swing and a miss. That was a 98. Yeah. I peeked up there and I was like, oh goddamn! <laughs> <laughs> was there a bunch up there? Actually, you can assist me. Uh, you uh, can instead, say of doing, that. instead of doing that role, you can assist There's me. There's only 30. So you're saying my, uh, my guy should get up there and just do AoEs the, in, into the, uh, the room? Oh my god. <laughs> well, he hasn't told you yeah, anything. Yeah, I can poke so. around the corner there, though. Uh, Domingus. Mm -hmm. Say again? As, you poke, as, you, as you're poking around the corner, you, you get, get attacked. Because they're waiting for you, so... Uh... uh <laughs> one, of the, one, of the guns, one of the guns explodes in their face, uh, his grenades drop, and then blow up and kill those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and which guy was that? Was it the, the, the most... The, the, these guys, I'm deleting them now. <laughs> or so were those guys the, the one that's shooting too? Yeah, you just saw last fire and then explosions in there. <laughs> oh my god. And they're not gonna fire again? Oh, it's your go, yeah. They did their surprise. I can do I do the, the... the 2.6, or do I have to roll again? You roll. You, you roll against these guys. New target. Okay. New target. What was it 50? Yeah. God, who did you roll 10.6 against? <laughs> and a 10.4. <laughs> it's still 11 hits. 
you are, I think no, I can only I can only fire ten shots though. Yeah. I think you need to reload at this point. How many did you fire? Okay, so how many can you see? Can you see just these three? I see all of them. I guess the I bullets, see only half of them, then. The bullets okay. don't right. need to see in order to hit, though. There. Nah, it's just ricocheted in that room. Yeah, one ricochet killed one in the middle. There's, like, four left. And you just hear screams of, We surrender! We surrender! We surrender! <clears throat> oh, boy. It's time for some war crimes. <laughs> It's only war crimes if there's witnesses and evidence left over. <laughs> you just see this. Hey, you just see four <laughs> four guards with their hands up, the the Yep. The, all their last rifles are on the ground. Their hands are up, and they said, "We surrender. We surrender. Please, please spare us." Oh, Angel, the emperor. Thud. thud. Thud in a distance. I say in the in the radio, fresh meat, and I tell the then I tell the guardsmen to get out, get out of this place, go to uh, the center of the room. I guess you could uh, also show me their, their location ish, and I'm like, oh, oh, enemies. <laughs> and I had, uh, was it to the left? Up? Where do we need to go? Up over here. Up. They're okay. gonna come out from this room. Well, right. uh, you see them kind of run at you, bolt at you like crazed maniacs. I don't see them. That's what you can run at me, Mercy. I don't see the them. Mangus. You lied to me, guys. Where are they? <laughs> don't see them. No. The running. Four crazy guys coming at you, and you see them just whip out grenades, all of them, and coming right at you. Oh, I dodge. <clears throat> can I dodge that out of the way? I mean, you can react to it. They haven't. Pulled pins yet? Oh, fresh! And I fire, and I as, as soon as you fire, I'm also in the room, and I'm like taking a just yep. punching with my bare fist at one of them. And Why that's going to be. Away his sword? I still have it in my other hand. <laughs> Oop, wrong, wrong button. That's. Oop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. No. They, you guys kill all four. Uh, oh, one of them okay. was able to get a cracking grenade off, though. Before he passed. So... I punched the crack grenade. <laughs> no, uh, I so, punched so it. Crack Hang on, Cameron. Didn't we learn our lesson with crack grenades last time? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm punching it. <laughs> He's in fury. Right, anyways, uh, who has a crack grenade? Is it Pyramid? Say again? You have a crack grenade? Uh, which character has a crack grenade? I don't know, but. Uh, every character has a crack grenade. Everyone has it. At least three. No, no, have, I don't know the guardsmen. I don't get grenades. That's our standard ammunition <laughs> type of thing. Ah. If you're looking for damage, it's 3d10 plus 4 for pin of 6. Okay, I got the damage. Is that supposed to hurt me? It's nine, nine pen, or 6 penetration, 19 damage. That does nothing to me. <laughs> really? Yes. I have an armor <laughs> of 32. Okay. All over? Jesus Christ. Uh, my body is 35. Uh, what about you, Dominguez? Does that, that hurt is, you at all? That is an outrageous amount. That, I, well, uh, I where does that hit me? Does that hit me? That's that you. It doesn't have a, a, a huge blast radius, I think. Oh, I don't know. It, it's a blast oh, radius. We'll, we'll, of... we'll ignore the idiot guardsman one. <laughs> I think that could deal. Uh, is that going to hit my body or where does it hit? I my think body? It, I think if it's an AOE, it hits your body. Yeah. Then I get one point of damage. Then. Damn. 
Unless, uh, well, I took more brunt of it. I like, I, I don't know. Up to the eh, deal. Oh well. And uh, who, who's the leader of the, of the? Who's the captain? Acting captain? No mango. You know, the one that just ate a crack grenade. <laughs> what? You guys can't see my jam rolls, can you? No. No? Nope. Yes, no. Okay, so the Inquisitor uh, tells you that the battle... He does what? The Inquisitor tells us <laughs> He's up there. Yeah, the Inquisitor. It's been 15 minutes since since you guys. So he's telling. He's giving you battle reports. Um, they they themselves engaged the bulk of the fleet. There was about uh, uh, six ships where they're at, and four more just intercepted them. So. Is anyone gonna assist me? No, I mean, Domingos with you on his on his comm. He's just been he's informing you of the battle battle updates, telling you where they're at. Oh my god! Each assist gives me less plus ten if anyone assists me. Maybe we so, don't punch the door and instead open it through technological means. Do a better so way to punch the door. You so, mug pushes the like, button on the wall and the so, door opens. Yeah, you put a big scratch in your arm doing that. The silver arm. Oh. I just had it waxed. You're a tech marine for the Emperor's sake. Use your tech skills. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> so it's all set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. I find a button on the wall right next to the door, and I push it, and the door opens. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the door opens, I just reload everything. I see that. So I, you can see a so of nine librarians smack their forehead. <laughs> right, so you're pushing the button, nothing happens. You you realize this is a blast door, not a regular uh, intermediate door. So this is like to prevent oh, okay. borders from going further into the ship. Damn. So, uh, your, 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 your character would know the only way through is to blast through it, literally. The only way through is to Ooh, blast through the blast door. I got Everyone this. Everyone just, just stand back. Stand 10, 15 meters away from the door. All right, then, uh, for that... Okay, I can uh, hole punch it with my Melta guns. I'm going to drop you can just my... kick it down. Hold on, I'm going to drop my Frenzy. So, there you go. I'm actually going to be reasonable this time. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I'm actually going to step away. There you go. And there's lone me on the south side. Hey guys, hello, I'm back. What happened? <laughs> Why is there so much blood everywhere? Why is there a giant dent in that wall? In <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Yoma, you, you sense something's trying to taunt you. But you don't hear, like, the voice... You sense it's trying to taunt you in a way. Trash talk it back. <laughs> <laughs> I merely ignore it. As engaging the warp entity in conversation is a direct means to heresy. <laughs> but you sense it's taunting you every every way. You'll fail all that stuff. You get the sense of that, but doesn't doesn't say it outright. But. All right, Moth, what are you doing? I'm going to just start shooting the door with my melted guns. Okay. Trying to make a like, hole punch kind of thing. All right, go for it. Tech Marine. Uh, well, the sister plus, opens the door. Do you have that thing that lets you see where we are on a ship to know where we need to go? Yes, I do, in fact. Uh, I pull out my... What is it called? cartograph 
which gives me plus 10 to navigation, which means I'm going to do uh, yeah. navigation. Yep. The question is, do I need to roll to hit the door, or do I just hit the door? You, uh, you just hit the door, just do damage. <laughs> So your 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 team knows generally that this thing might be deep in the bowels of the ship, possibly the engine room. Possibly, there's a couple of areas it could be it could be the warp core, the engine room. It could be on the bridge. You don't know. So those are the, those are three viable options you guys have. You just righteous so, theory out of the shit out of that. So you can see that door uh, creak and moan and hold or blast through. You can actually see through one of your shots on the second one. How um, big is the I That's figured it was going to have to be the double. Foot diameter. How much? Foot in diameter, what he just did. I uh, would the like to... Uh, oh, is it big enough for my hand to hold, like, go through and maybe pick up the door? <laughs> I mean, I could give you a second handhold real quick. Just watch yeah, this. That would be great. <laughs> okay, so as you're blasting it more, Moth, the door just to... Just, uh, has many many holes in it. Uh, enough for him to kind of lift up. It's Swiss cheese now. You guys, can I'm I'm sort through. of doing a okay. pattern that's shaping out a Space Marine sized square. Okay. Uh, then yeah, you uh, you blasted it out then. All right, and I help you punch it. I guess. <laughs> you I mean, punch, you guys could probably punch just through. punch the rest of that down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Strength check. Uh, um, minus twenty. <laughs> I just see in the back. everyone rotate. <laughs> Since I'm no longer frenzy, that's just my Yeah, okay. Boom. Yep, nope. Still sturdy enough. Then you, then you take a fist, you pound it, bam! You see it bend a little bit. It looks like it's almost there. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the door and try to hit it again with my I guess I can give you plus 10 arm. because I, but, I'm kind of assisting you so oh yeah. uh, if you're assisting him plus 10 then yeah alright hey there uh, it yeah. is so you guys combined you guys just knocked out that, 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 that hole that <laughs> Moth kind of created and that blast door just has a big big hole uh, big enough for you guys to get filed through one by one Including the the space sharks since they're fucking huge. Hmm. Well, I'd right. be the only space shark, not not all the librarians. Seeing uh, no, I know. Whole... I'm talking about you specifically. Yeah, yeah. I can so, duck. I see that there's an enemy right next to the door, so I step in first since I'm an enemy character, and I engage it, and letting okay. and just back holding the exit, the entrance, for everyone to go through. Are there bad guys in this hallway that we should, you know, be shooting at instead? Yeah, you know, or there might be some bad guys inside. And then, and, and uh, Yama, you're still concentrating on that artifact. Yes. Okay, cool. Just, just, just wondering. Yeah, no, I have uh, my squad of uh, librarians to, to do my attacking for me. Yeah, Karnov, so, as you step in, you hear an audible click and something sizzle. You don't know what it was. It was an audible click and it sizzle. I don't care. I'm I'm attacking. See, I'm no, attacking a thing. I'm... There you go. It's dead. Because the penetration is 10. Oh, no, it's, it's not dead. What? Not dead. Do a roll. So, let's see. Pen 5, 35. Let me read on that. It's a penetration of 10 because I have more than 2. Oh, two okay. So, 10, 10. So, 35 minus 18. Seventeen gets through. Ah. Hey, uh, hey, it's gonna have a chance to check in and see since you're the only one that can fall through, and then we'll roll for initiative after that. Okay. 
Deus. Ooh. And the enemies don't get righteous fury, I imagine, right? NPCs or do they? I don't. Uh, no, no, not that's their, space you know, favorites thing. of the emperor. No, no, it's a uh, agent of the emperor thing. Ah. Okay, cool. Wasn't sure what that was. It's an Imperium thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Humans get it. So, uh, is that a Humans that believe in the Emperor specifically get it. If yes. you're a heretic, well, you don't get Righteous Fury. Yeah, 43 is 4 pin, and it's against your... Instead, well, they get Unrighteous it? Fury, where they get irritated at not having Righteous Fury. Yes. Uh, 56 is uh, your, your chest, right? I'm sorry, is that against me, or...? Yeah, against you. It may, you okay, melee okay. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, you sorry. You can try sorry. and dodge it. I'm gonna parry it. Okay. You can stop, Coco. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh. Parry the shit out of that. Damn. And remember, Tom, this, they all get minus 10 to melee against us. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they do? Okay, yeah. well then... It would, hit, still, it would still hit, but just keep that in mind when they melee us. Got it. So instead of 20, it'd be 10. Yeah. Um, uh, and you parried it? I did. With my own bare two hands. They have a melee skill of 70, or getting a plus 20 naturally. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. Hey, so go ahead and roll for initiative now. One better. <laughs> the macro made things easier. <laughs> Yeah, you make the computer do all the work for you. <laughs> work, work. Work, work. Hey, you guys all got your initiatives in? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You may want to rework. There you go. So, Eric Lady's goes first. You can only file it one at a time. <laughs> well, that's my full movement, so that's, you know, full full action. To okay, cool. Move, move the herd there. <laughs> Neil Tyron, go. All right. Uh, I am going to... All right, this is like 50 meters. I'm just going to full auto down this corridor with the uh, might hit spicy Karnoff. bullets. You gonna... I hit Karnoff. He's in the way. Ah, uh, he can you're... handle it. He's a big boy. I can boy. handle it. <laughs> He's right. a big boy. All right. So Remember, you tend to full roll auto. high roll. Well, uh, are you what, shooting at the three? one I'm fighting with, or are you shooting at the ones down the hall? All of them. Shooting at the ones down the hall, he's still gonna probably hit you. You're like right, right in front of that door. Uh, oh sure. well. Uh, whoops. Initially, you want to do a fate? Yeah, hey, cause you're yeah. about to hit him. So. I'll do a fate point for that. Fuck it. Okay, and that's also a plus ten as well. Yep. Yeah, I'm aware. All right. Bang, bang, bang. Now, what are you shooting, the guardsman or the big, guy, the big guy behind him? Well, I'm just firing in full auto down the hallway trying to okay. hit everything. Uh, so Got that's it. So what? Is that four hits or is that only three? If it's full auto, then it's four. All right. Do my okay. two hit rolls. That was the wrong thing. I'm sorry. It's a bolt pistol, not the bolter. Uh, so ignore well, that. still ignore better that. than first attack. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, you're hitting for... Oh. Oh, okay, okay. 
Wait, no. So the first role you what? did was like to shoot. Oh me wait, I'm a fucking imbecile. Hang on. Oh, I've been clicking on damage. hit and not damage. Yeah. Oh my god. Two, three, four. There. Oh. And you can roll one d four. Uh, four d tens. So that, so that guy, the first guy's dead. Second guy's dead. Uh, this guy be dead. Is that three righteous furies? Two. Two. So no. first one. Of them one. Is, the last attack had two plus tens. Oh no! no. It only first it's first one. one. I think it's modified. Oh wait, I I what? What happened? You have two tens on your last roll. Okay. Well, the first one would just be increased by like two damage. And the second one would be uh, increased by two damage. Uh, third, third one, one being increased by five damage. And then yeah. you'll do psychic, right? And then the last one is exactly the same damage. Yep. But if these are all side bolts, these are you know, that last one was like forty-five points of damage. Right, Jesus. they're all dead. Like all right. they're all. I mean, plus two righteous furies. Splat counts as one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the two tens in the last one is just one singular righteous fury. If you get a ten in the damage roll, period, they're dead. You get a righteous fury. In other words, yes. All right. You can attempt to uh, uh, hit the one in front of me, or you can attempt to hit the ones down the hole. Down the. He hole. already did. He killed. He killed three down the hole. Uh, so, does that all you're going to do, Neil Tyron? Yep, that's right. my turn. But he's got a um, Righteous Fury. He might be able to yeah. hit the others down the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Oh, Before. do you want me to roll Righteous Fury? Okay, so I get two more hits. Is that it? Yep. Well, you get to roll to uh, two attack rolls. All right. Uh, because these aren't Xenos, so we actually have to confirm these. Okay, got it. So, uh, same modifier, though. Same exact modifier uh, to hit from your original attack roll. All right. <laughs> Hit. That's just one attack, I think. Yep. Or was it like multiple oh. attacks? No, you have to roll the hit for each one. Right, and then make sure you roll two d10s to see if uh, you can get a you know more damage. Another rush of fury. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. oh garbage. Nope. <laughs> you know, it is the exact same damage rolls that are right there. Yep. Yep. So you kill two more guardsmen. Plop, plop. <laughs> nice. Plop, plop. I clap their cheeks. True. Yep, card off, go. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so, since I'm in melee with that dude, that means... He's dead. Uh, <laughs> almost true. Uh, so, ten... Uh, what else? Oh, I think it's... Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, all right, so I'm going to do this. To make sure he oh, okay, yeah, those are those all hit. Three all attacks. Right. Nice. Yes. Uh boom boom. I think it's dead. It might be dead. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty it's sure it's dead. dead. Go ahead and sure try to die. Yeah. Uh I uh I, I attempt to hack its limbs one by one until it's nothing but like a limbless spider crawling around and I just stomp it. Nice. Uh, Dominguez, go. All right. Oh, okay. Where am I? I think that's me. I'll do a half move. To go through the door, which is about eight meters. And I can see there's some guardsmen. And I want to use the heavy bolter again. Okay. And how far is that? Oh, that's a little bit more than half range. <clears throat> so was it? Gonna be plus forty, plus fifty, or uh, what's the natural hit uh, chance? Plus ten. Plus ten, yeah. Okay, it'll be plus fifty then. That'll be six hits. Yes, that one guardsman is now dead. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, oh, there's like three of them. Well, there's, oh, there's a couple more over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so was that six hits? Yeah. <laughs> With Righteous Fury. Uh, wait, let me... Um, what is it? Six. Ah, I see now. Yes, there are a couple over there. <laughs> Some more Righteous Fury. So how All many right. Righteous Fury? Two? Just two. Your thing is also, yeah, right. Okay, let's see. Okay. Dead. And the next card went dead. Okay. Oh, hey, look. Two more Righteous Furies. Holy two fuck. more Righteous Furies. <laughs> I can't see any more. And I don't know if that's within... A fire for effect. A fire for effect. <laughs> you might get lucky with these. You never know. Yeah. Hey, look, another Righteous Fury. Oh my god! Might as well just roll 1d10 for the second one. Nah, just 2d10. Well, the first one doesn't change anything. It didn't go through anything, but... But it, it, is, still one, one, it, is, still, it is still one more, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think there was a horde. There was a horde of guardsmen. Well, I don't see might, anything in the hallway. Anymore. There might still be one left over. We don't know. You got another Righteous Fury to go through. I do. All right, keep yeah. firing. Just keep firing down the hallway this time. Uh, you're, just, you're just blasting yeah. on that hallway. You, you rolled two hit rolls and hit with both, and then you got, oh, yeah, I got one Righteous more Fury on one of those, so you got another hit roll to make. And another damage roll. And another 1d10 to see if you can Righteous Fury it again. No. Oh, so close. Da, 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 da. So, just describe what you're doing there. That's pretty badass. <laughs> I go through the door, and I, I see a horde of guardsmen, and I just rile up my heavy bolter and just fire 20 rounds. Just that, 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 that. And it's just, and all of those bullets came all together to become a, a hailstorm. <clears throat> just hitting yeah. everything in the hallway. Oh, yeah. Pretty yeah, good oh, now, that result, considering you moved. It's Ricochet City out there. Yeah, now the walls is planted in blood. Oh, yeah, blood gets everywhere in the hallway. Didn't the wall. We, can use, like, like, we can use some blood and guts like as a slip and slide to... Uh, Get to the end of the hallway <laughs> faster. The whole ship looks like that, but as as uh, Yamag's imagination comes near walls and stuff, you just see the tentacles stop temporarily. So, but you just see tentacles in the distance. Mm -hmm. Just just out of curiosity, uh, Dominico, do you have a skill that lets you uh, full auto while moving? I sh think I should have it. Uh, let's see. I mean, he gets the fire through the door. He does have bulging biceps, which reduces. That, that doesn't no need. let you take a full action after having already taken a half action. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I haven't played well, in a while, well, so I kind of forgot all my stuff. We'll let slide. We'll let slide this once. Yeah. All right, next guy. Retor, go. Okay. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll just keep that in mind for next time. So I can only do a half action. Anymore. Yeah, because a half action, if you take oh, a half boy. action move, you can only do a half action fire. Which is also means we technically can't do semi autos if you move, but. Oh, I guess it's because from the previous oath, we could move for free. Well, yeah, that's because we were doing the, the squad thing, which we that's technically right. have on this one, I think. It's just we haven't activated it yet. Well, there's only three squad abilities, which is Bolter Assault, Tactical Advance, and the Furious Tactical Charm. Advance is the free is the free move. And that's my time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we can have the rock and then you already in squad cohesion mode, right? You guys already in cohesion mode already from the beginning. Yeah, but it, it still costs a point uh, to do, and team leaders should be you know keeping track of uh, how much cohesion we got. 
Right. Look at you doing all that. Nothing else. Which is your fellowship bonus plus uh, your level of uh, command. Which, if you're just trained in it, that's plus one. If you're trained plus ten, that's plus two. Fellowship bonus? Yeah. So I got a fellowship plus 50. So then that's or five. 50. That's and five. then what was the second one? Uh, if you're trained in command, it's plus one. But if you're trained in command plus 10, then it's a plus two under that. It's plus 20. You got a plus 20? You sure? Yeah. Apparently. Are, are you sure? Plus 20. Let me just double check with... Uh, although, specialty. okay. Death Watch Tactical Marines begin with command as a trained advanced skill. That to me just means it's trained. That's at least a plus 10. Well, no, trained means you get to roll full value. The trained advanced, though, means you get you get the next tier up, doesn't it? Yeah? So it should yeah, be plus next, one, the 10. Then. Plus 10. Okay. All right. So that's a. Uh, I misunderstood go. that then. Okay. All right, Bersara, you're up. Oh, I moved. I'm My turn's over. Okay, cool. So it's the guardsman's <laughs> turn. Are you next to me or are you behind me, Brasora? Uh, behind in the corner so other people can get through the door. All right. So am I blocking? Like, if someone were to shoot you, would I be able to, like, am I blocking them or not? I think uh, not. I don't know. Yeah, I think not. Are, are you planning to shoot me? No, as in, like, if someone tries to shoot you, Am I like standing in front of you to take the shot if need be? Probably not. I'm very spry and can dodge. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't dodge, I'll die in a single hit, probably. Very much true. Right. Uh, so this is going to come at Karnoth. Yippee! <laughs> I'm st I can't see them. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, but well, they can see you. Really? Heavy bolter? Who has a heavy bolter? I basically just uh, raise my hand to my eyes and just like kind of block my eyes, and that's it. And I just <laughs> stand there and take it. <laughs> right. Well, they're uh, wearing a heavy bolter, they only got one hit. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, what is it, what is it, a fire rate of four in the thing, right? Four. Heavy Bolter? No, Heavy Bolter's at a lot more than four. Yeah, yeah I think it's more. It's up to ten. Up to ten? You're, you're just making range attacks. You're making attacks. Oh, okay. Is that what you do when you do uh, ranged or no? Yeah, I think you're trying to make a damage roll. Oh, I do 10 damage rolls against him? My goodness. No, no, you do a number of damage rolls equals to your degrees of success, like plus one. So, okay. so you should six, have seven damage six rolls. Six damage rolls. Seven. Six more. Okay. Yeah, six okay. more. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh -oh. that's righteous fury. No, it's not. Oh, oh that's right. right. It's only oh, for belief. One more. One more. Oh, one, more? one more attack. Yeah, one more. yeah that, that one, the, the Wretched Fury one, kind of like hits very close to the temple of my head. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, AFK for like five minutes. Okay. And then we get one more attack because there's they set up a couple. So that's one hit. That's one hit. Well, it's a good thing you have Terminator armor. 
Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, Eric Lady's your go. Cool. We're taking a full action. <laughs> Boom. That's our turn. A little, I will uh, never, crowded in here. I will never not love the circle of librarians. <laughs> <laughs> As an overdue book, and we've come to collect. <laughs> <laughs> Your library card has expired. <laughs> this is a non loud speaking zone. No running in the halls. Yes. All right, this is a way. The old Tyson. Tyson is away. For five minutes. All right, I just came back. <laughs> that was a fast five minutes. Also, that your was turn. A... Yeah. <laughs> what? It's my turn? <laughs> <laughs> it is. But first, uh, stick your head between your legs, spin around ten times, and then suck in a lemon. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, it's not how you cure hiccups. Are you guys listening to what the, the guardsmen are saying to you guys at all, or no? Nope. I'm just going to move forward, and oh my guardsmen, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Wait, did I destroy half of them in this? You did. Okay. Yeah. You're just recreating the Astarte cinematic, uh, basically. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put drawing up to... One second. Uh, they have... Uh, Gun emplacement stand, there's a giant metal wall protecting these guardsmen behind here. They're gonna take a penalty uh, to shoot anything. And... Alright. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna walk forward then, and that'll be my turn. <laughs> That's my turn next, I guess. Enough. Uh, so you can see the same thing. You see just a giant wall of metal and like two heavy bolter guns and placements set up. Yeah. And you yeah, see yeah. Uh, a space for a third weapon in the center. Oh, wait, a much bigger weapon, it looks like. I'm just going to run up to them. As fast as I can, I'm going to activate my check. Back. There is there there is a corner right here. I'm not sure where that goes. I don't care. <laughs> oh wait, actually, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Sorry, where I was standing, uh, right here, I think. Uh, let's see how much exactly. Oh yeah, I can I can just run up to right in the middle of them. Just jump. You can go over up the barricade. Through. You gonna bash down the barricade? Uh, charge right through it. Yeah, I'm just gonna using all of my mass, just charge right through it. Okay. Um, it's, gonna be and that's it. check, it's gonna be a strength check when you get up there, minus forty. Strength it's check a giant, minus forty. It's a giant metal metal barricade they set up. He's flying over in a jetpack and he's a space marine. Yeah, uh, like can, you do that? can I fly over it? it? Yeah, of course you can. There's enough room, enough ceiling room for you to fly over it into it. Then yeah, I would like to so, get do that. Okay. Oh, see, what I was imagining was you, you like Superman punch the damn thing down. Well, <laughs> uh, I, I, I was mean, imagining... you're flying through a jetpack. That's a lot of force coming at it. If, uh, well, it's also true. If, uh, if it's like a solid, like top to bottom wall with like some holes, uh, for no, shooting it's only. Like that. It's like a, it's like a, um, Make sure you've seen here where the yeah, you see those uh, Halo, it's like a uh, placement barricade, they put down metal barricades all across the entire thing. And yeah, they're, they're gun placement ones. Yeah, so it's like kind of like a very heavy reinforced steel barricades with uh, gun emplacement uh, slots for the bolters. And then the third one looks like it's a really big weapon of some sort that they're possibly ringing up. Oh, no. Oh, actually, hold on. Before I end my turn... I think I have a ability. Let's see if it actually can use it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Rafa descent. Sure. No, no, cannot. Yep, that's it. That's my move. Okay. Uh, Domingus, go. 
You guys think the tactical advance will be very helpful here? Yeah, could, could be. Oh, well, uh, I'm going to activate the tactical advance. <clears throat> and All that's right. a full action, so. Okay, for so go. Uh, I'm a jetpack charge right over here. Again, plus okay. 10 bonus movement, I think. Or how how much? Half move? Uh, double charge. No, uh, from the three movement, from the tactical advance. Oh. It's, it's, a, right, it's a free half move. Half move. So yeah, that, that makes up the extra three meters. So yeah, I, I ducked into the It corner. says here he may cover a distance up to his full move. Okay, then it's a full move. Nice. Okay. I still jetpack charge into the Hell side yeah. room, though. Because uh, I don't have a lot of movement. I would like to see them try to hit me. So you taunt them? They can hit you, they just can't damage you. Right, so you see, you're right, so Kyle, you see the other weapon they, they were bringing out, they, 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 they just set up on a tripod, and they were kind of wheeling it up, and you kind of startled them, so they're going to try to attack you with it. With a tripoded weapon? Before it's mounted? It's like on after? wheels, it's like a tripod wheel type thing. Is it like a twin-linked last cannon or something? Oh I no! You never see it. Doesn't, doesn't look. Yeah, it, you don't know what it is. Block, it looks really, also. looks really fucking weird. It fucking it's, misses and like blows oh, a big geez. hole in the wall. All right. Uh, does that create a hole breach? Not really. Um, the, the thing is big. Yeah, it's like like you're like you just saw. It. It, it looked alien. You had no idea what the fuck it is. Like, what the hell is that? It made, like, uh, not a normal cannon noise that you'd expect. It's kind of like the Void Horror rifle you fought with the last entity you fought on the other ship. So, so. I would make that connection. Okay, so I would... Okay, all right. Can you would I, make uh, that connection immediately. Yeah. Can and you... then... Uh, can you show me where that is located in the midst of all of these guardsmen so I can take out its operators? Oh, yeah. So it's going to be this group over here. I'll, I'll... Okay. Yeah, because they're just wheeling that up. So. And then uh, let's see. Who's Neil Tyron? You're in the open, right? Uh, that's right. Yep. Okay, so the two bolter emplacement guys, they're going to uh, acquisition you then. All right. Nice. The gun fucking explodes, destroying <laughs> the ammunition. They rolled the uh, 100. It you Jesus. Around, it, it makes you go prone and knocks you forward. How big the explosion is? Who how, uh, how how forward? How how far? Uh, you're launched about five meters forward. Uh, so like this far. Okay. Um, uh. I'm gonna try and stand up. No, no, you are fine. Nothing happened to you. You just saw you oh. just saw a gun aim it. Kadu, boom! That's all you saw. I see. Right, and then you saw a bunch of guards and die. Can I roll for agility to not fall? Yeah, sure. The not go prone. Yeah. Yeah, because it launched you forward. So go ahead. The barricades uh, are blown down. By the way, guys, you just saw right. the barricades in front just blow forward in front of you, so the entire way is clear <laughs> for you guys. To <laughs> I can't uh, believe they rolled the one to shoot through. Yeah. Any modifiers? Those ladies go. Any modifiers for the um, dodge? Plus ten. Plus ten. All right. I go. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're prone. You're flat on your face. Um, Eric, ladies go. 
Sweet. Well, the hang on, you didn't let me take my turn. Oh yeah, take your turn. Sorry. Yeah, all right. I forgot. They just killed themselves, did they? Yeah. <laughs> all right. My apologies. So, nah, it's, well, the bright side cool. Karnoth, you could be a Beyblade now. I can. But don't I go before the Tech Marine? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait what's going on? Because the, the last, the last one to go is the bad guys, and then it scrolls up to fourteen, which is Eric Pades. Then Neil Tyron is twelve. Yeah. Well, hang on, just this one, since we already did that. Since well, you we already told me to go, order. let me take my turn and then. <clears throat> no, no, I said no. No, they're targeting you. Oh, they're targeting me. Yeah. Yeah, they targeted you with that okay. big bolter and blew themselves up. So, let me back uh, up. Eric then. Clayton, go. Got it. Eric Clayton, go. All right, I take my free ten foot move. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my full action to just move. <laughs> so That'll now right. I go. Now, I go. now it's your turn. Now you so get I'm going to walk forward. I'm going to walk forward and then I'm going to... I'm going to bung a frag grenade into this crowd of fuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where is You can it? throw more than one, by the way. I'm gonna throw several. How many you am I allowed to on throw? You, I think. You have three on you at max. Of each type. Alright. So, I'm gonna do three hit rolls on that. Oh, God. I think, well, I think you're... Th oh, are, are you throwing them separately, or are you throwing the whole bunker? Oh, gosh. Well, I think I missed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, games, they kind of bounce off, hit the side of the walls here, they get nowhere near the near anyone. Oh boy. Did you, you see boom, 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 boom. out this time? Yeah, right where the barricades were, that's kind of where they landed. Nice. So nothing happened. God damn it. Emperor damn Anything it. Anything else? That's our explosive expert, right there. <laughs> 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 No, that's it. That's my turn. Okay, so Karnoff, you have to get up now? Yeah, I'm, I'm just searching the rules for leaping I think it's half action to get up? Oh, I think so, yeah. All right. Well, actually... Are there rules for attacking when you're prone? Yes. I think so. If it's ranged, you don't get a penalty, but if it's melee, you do. Uh, but if you're attacked by ranged while prone, they get a penalty. But if you're attacked with melee while you're prone, they get a bonus. Seems fair. Combat, combat. Eh, whatever, I'll just get up. Whatever. It's been half an action. And... Half close. Seven, seven... Uh, what was it? Half move is like a the free move you can do, right? Uh, you or... get a f uh, free full move. So basically, each one of these uh, squares. But I'm not that. Isles is one full move. But I'm not that close to you. I don't know if I'm in the zone for that buff. Oh, that's very true. No, so... you're the leader. You're the one who gets it. No, Dominique is the leader. Oh, uh, Dominique. Oh, leader. that's right. Damn, I would have been. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, uh, sorry, I was. I just saw the person drawing an arrow, and I assumed it was you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, you do not have it because you are way too far away from uh, Dominego. Yeah. All right. So half move is the free move you can take. Is that correct, or does is that like a half action? No, it's a half action. Oh fuck. Yeah. All right. You know what? I also have grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't fuck up. <laughs> All right. Just throw them directly up. You'll probably hit somebody. Yeah. Like yourself. Like myself. Like it will damage him now. All right. He uh, can take it. Frank grenades. Hello, my beloved. It's time for you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw the whole bundle. Oh God. Oh what's geez. the This was just three grenades. Uh, what's the modifier on that? I'm just gonna toss it into the middle of all of these guardsmen. 
Or Taurus a weapon? Maybe. Well, it's close I mean, to the weapon. should still hit. If, if they land. Okay, roll your attacks. Uh, what's the modifier? Uh, plus 20, since you're so close. You're trying to disable the weapon? I'm just throwing it into the pile of guardsmen. Is kind of hoping to get close to the weapon, but I'm not particularly aiming at it. I'm just trying to get uh, take, take out as many guardsmen as I can. Oh. Okay. All right, time nice. for a fate point. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not gonna take a take a fate point. I'm just gonna let it hit whatever. Uh, sure. So it bounces and uh, kind of ricochets in the corner. And what's the what's the range on this thing? Five. So that's the five meters radius. from the top, top, top right, top right corner of this room. It's that guy. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I guess it's this guy as well, but he's kind of protected. That's around this. the corner. Yeah. Yep. So dead. Uh, Domin Dominagos, go. I'll do a half move, and then do a run to the corner, but I, could, but I haven't really reached the corner. It's just still running all the way up here. You have a free ha you have a free full move from your thing. I just did. Okay. Or that is the free move, uh, full move or half move. Full move. Then that'll be extra eight, which I can barely get into the corner. And that's my turn. For sorry, go. And uh, be thankful for uh, what is it? The the guy holding that artifact doing his thing because I couldn't do my thing I wanted to do. That hallway. <laughs> uh oh. Well, how far away? I can't find any of the entities because of him. They're like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah. My powerful forward movements is driving this mission. <laughs> well, it's 150 meters of like no spawning for the, the warp entities. Yep. So what are you targeting, uh, Rosora? Uh, the crowd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, how much damage so, you I, so, so storm bolters are a little weird as they fire two shots each. So that's um six Three. on the first one and ten on the second. So that's that's a lot of shots going down range. How many? How much ammo does that thing have? In one clip. Uh, 60 and they fire two bullets each which is why oh they my need God. instances of damage they eat through ammo but max they can only fire four so yeah so they, they're uh, how, many, how, how many how many rolls did you get off uh, six rolls? on the first one eight on the second one I rolled the first six to see Oh, eight? That's why I didn't oh, okay, flood too okay. much. Yeah. I haven't rolled this game. Are you looking yet. to destroy that, that cannon that he, he has? Because the guardsman looks attached to it. Because you kill all those buddies around and they're helping doing whatever with it. Now you just see the. Uh, you know, you won't put the rest of the damage into that? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I no. I just want to kill everybody around the gun. Okay. As many without hitting the gun as much as possible. So if if not hitting the gun means not hitting the dude on the gun, I'm fine with that. Right. He's a you. You're as you're shooting. You see after you're mowing people down, you see his arm is like in there, like just welded to it. And you see there's like some kind of good optic, like you've never seen it before, just like plunged in his eye. It's like a tentacle op optic in his eyeball. Tentacle optic. 
Yeah, you know it's an optic of some sort. Like, uh, sure like an eye stalk on a slug? Like that? Yeah. Yeah. And he just—he looks kind of like, uh, <laughs> he kind of looks dead. See you guys. Uh, so is that all you're gonna do? Oh, I did get some righteous furies. Uh, yeah, you wanted to pump into the gun? That's all that's left on the field. D is the dude attached to the gun dead? And just there, he or is he? He's. I was. Le I was leaving him last, so you can make a decision if you want to. To, to kill him or not? Yeah, sure. Sure, okay. I do still have to confirm hits, though, so. You're pumping all your damage in the. Alright. Hey. And that's all I can do. Sweet. So as as he dies, uh, Karnoth, you can take a immediate action because you see that thing. Doing something weird, possibly self-destructing. Oh, uh, weird gun. So you, you you can react to this before anything bad happens. Oh, I was afraid of that. Right, oh. and Eric, you uh, you, you, you get a sense. That you... I'm 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 gonna go forward. Actually, I'm gonna try. Everyone can react to it. Actually, everyone can react to it because its range is pretty far. Does you it go do through walls? Does it go through walls? I don't know. Well, you don't know. It's it's a void weapon. Oh shit! I'm running. I'm gonna fake point reroll that. Oh uh, yeah, the, yeah. I'm gonna do the dodge. And I can add my jump back. Yeah, minus uh minus twenty on any dodges. But yeah, you can dodge. Minus 20 on dodges. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we only dodge? We can't move? Uh, you can move. You can try and move to cover. <laughs> you, uh, can I jetpack can away? Yeah. Uh, Eurypides, um I did a fake reroll. Okay. Same. And, uh... Just so you know, that artifact, um... As this is happening, it uh, starts glowing like uh, greenish blue. Mm hmm. You wish to act on that, right? It's different than what you've been normally doing as you're meditating with it. Um. I just run strip more 48 meters to the south just to get okay. to another piece of cover. I would like yeah, to. I'd uh, back away too. I don't remember what evocation or sign of sign is. The difference between two is. I'm um, dodging whatever the fuck he says by the skin of my teeth. Uh, whichever is better, cool, than sign of sign. Or no, evocation. Invocation. Okay. I am going to spend a fate point on that. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I know the fuck out of what's happening. Okay, so, yeah, so you get the intuition and you need to toss this thing down the hallway and just focus all your, all your, uh, psychers, all your psychers onto that thing. Just, like, toss it down like like you would a grenade and just focus on it. Sweet. Like it's speaking to you. Yep. I'll do that. Okay. Let's and just try. Karnoff, you, went, you went forward, right? I went forward just to, just in a okay. moment, just went forward, yeah. All right, and uh, how how far can you throw as a grenade there? Uh, um, well, I got plus ten strength due to my power armor being unique, so I have like more strength. Okay, uh, so I don't, I don't remember what throw the throwing it. range is for a grenade. I think it's strength bonus times three. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Do that. Um, throw it as far as you want. No. Uh, well, no, because we have that uh, multiplier. Yep. Our natural, natural characteristic. So your strength bonus is what increased. 
by three. Okay, so then it's fifteen times three, then for this yeah, forty-five. Forty-five, 45 meters. meters. Yeah, so I can throw it forty-five meters. Which is not tremendously far. Which is that's that's mm, quite a distance, my guy. Which is that, but still not close enough to where the void weapon is. Oh, but uh, you're gonna throw it to that that point there. Uh. I will that tell you. That seems bad. I kind of want to throw it behind us. Because if it, like, you know, rends a hole in the ship and separates us from uh, one of our guys. No, no, no. So the, t the talisman, you're getting the strong intu intuition to throw it forward ahead of you uh, in front of your guys. Okay. Uh, then, then you mug. I'm going to tell you that there's a solo mode ability called Feet of Strength, which every Astartes has, which gives you plus one uh, strength bonus multiplier. So it lasts according to the rank of the ability in rounds. OK, well, that would give me uh, 60 meters. And it also gives you plus 10 to test, I think, at rank three. Uh, let's see, where was it? Uh, feed of strength. Right, uh, then I'll do that, and I'll swap the soul mode, burst the strength it, and just chuck it 60 meters ahead. Okay. And then all all your guys have to focus all their, their powers on the talisman. Yep, I'm telling them to do that. Okay, and let's see. So anything in a 100-meter radius of that, it's half damage of that, so it's 25. Uh, are you fucking kidding? So, Karnoth, you're going to eat shit. You guys don't eat It wouldn't eat matter where I threw that. <laughs> With no, you guys 30? are shielded. You, you guys are shielded. Oh, okay. So, Karnoth is the only one going to hit. Wait, wait, I... you said I had the urge to throw it forward. Don't you think mm -hmm. I would have the sense to throw it behind me, then? No, 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 no. Like I wanted to do, where it wasn't going to no, no, hurt no, no. everyone? No, 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 no. So the void cannon that Moth just shot exploded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Your thing acted as a bubble shield and protected uh -huh. you guys okay. that are behind you. Gotcha. Karnoth is in front of it. He's going to eat shit right now. Uh, okay. Yes. So 30, uh, 30 plan, 25, half that damage, half of 52. I wrote for dodge at the beginning of this whole thing. What did you, you get for dodge? I wrote for, uh, let's see. What did you get? Because you might have, you might have just avoid it. No, you roll for agility, huh? not dodge. Oh, uh, well, it's the same thing for me, I think. Uh, dodge is a skill. Okay, dodge. So if you're trained, Which should actually you might be get... slightly better because it uses agility. Dodge, dodge is the same have... thing for me. Let's see. Dodge... Like, oh, yeah, okay. If you don't have the plus have ten, have ten have in it, right? it's the same as agility. It's the, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Fair enough. So does, does it have the damage? Is that, is that what dodge does? No, dodge means you just dodge. Uh, it? Okay. I mean, I don't know how it works with an AOE. Technically, you, you're right. Technically, with an AOE, what you do is you move to the edge of the blast radius. Okay. If Which you is 100 meters, on, but... Yeah, if you succeed on... <laughs> that's how the rules are written. Is if you succeed okay, on the dodge roll on the AOE, is you technically move to the edge of the radius of the blast. Combat. Interesting. So I guess instead of getting killed, you, you just outrun the explosion. Yep. Yeah, kind of outrun the explosion, you can say. I'm just looking at where the dodge is. Right. Dodge for AOE attacks. Because you'd, you'd be in it still. Are we. Is Domingo <laughs> right? At the edge of the explosion, if the test succeeds, the character gets out of the way at the last You're moment. Fine. You're fine, uh, Dominion. The, the, what, what Karnoth did, all you guys see is just a black thing impact a some sort of blue shield that popped up. You have no idea what the shield is. Uh, uh, the Heraclades knows what it is. Sort of. The shield bubble thing, so... In bubble or a uh, void bubble, whatever you want to call it, protected them from that uh, void explosion there. 
When dodging an area of effect weapon, successful dodge test moves the character to the edge of the area of effect as long as there's no further away than the character's agility bonus in meters. Uh, if, the, if the character would need to move further than this to avoid the attack, then the dodge test automatically fails. Yeah, you're foobard. So you're Not necessarily. It. If it's too much damage, you can fate point to survive it. But that would burn the fate point. You As mean like forever. destroy lose forever yes. fate point? Yes. So yes. Like you will survive. So it is half that damage. So fifty two divided by two, that's what you that's what's coming through at the pan of thirty. Twenty two divided by twenty six. Twenty six. With a pin of thirty though, so Yeah, that's most of your armor. Yeah, that's gonna How fucking How many wounds hurt. do you have? It, Let's see. That's uh, that's a your dead moment. <laughs> so I have twenty wounds. And uh, we have a technical. Actually, like, here's what happened. Actually, yeah, you take you two points and you roll then. on the critical table. Yeah, yes. you roll crit then. You might lose an arm. I might. Okay, so if you roll so low six. enough, nothing really happens. So that's a type rending, the hood or rifle. Let's see. So what is rending? Do do What's the crit table? Thanks, just a regular attack. Wait, do, do I take that to the body or do I take that to the. It would be the body because it was a AOE. So that's 40, 35 armor. So 5 minus 26, 21. So I, I only take one critical damage. That's the. Yeah. Do we have uh, Zeal with us? <laughs> yes, actually. She's, yeah, you do. she's in the back. <laughs> one crit damage for most everything doesn't really do that much to you. Was this an yeah, energy you're, weapon you're or an explosive weapon? It's probably an energy weapon. It's a void weapon, so. So with an energy. Oh? So, yeah, energy body is a blow to the target's body steals the breath from the lungs. The target can only take a half action on his next turn for one critical damage. That's it. That's all it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but critical little damage pride. does stack. So, any more damage you take does get added to this, and that's another thing that happens on the chart. Yeah. And all those, I know. Yeah, all those guardsmen are dead, by the way. They, they, they just you saw them disintegrate. Yeah, they got evaporated. That's amazing. Get a shake, get a shake that ship as well. Do you guys want to stop here or continue on? I'm good to stop. I'm good for whatever. Yeah, good stopping point. I think that's a good stopping point right there. Yeah, I was thinking I think about so. that. <laughs> Medic. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No, no. I, I thought I was like, oh man, this is gonna suck for him. Medic. Well, yes. Basora would have been totally dead by that, right? Because that would have been, what, 24 <laughs> Totally dead. Totally yeah, dead. super dead. Yes. Yeah. I have 19 wounds and 15 armor. Oh, my God. The heavy <laughs> bolter was a threat. You mm -hmm. would have been wrecked. Jesus. Yeah, tired. Yeah, y'all, it would have been a full party. Why do you wipe. think I jetpacked into a side room? <laughs> I still didn't get far <laughs> enough away. Right. Wait, so was it... How what's the blast radius? It was hundred meters. Huge. Oh, I was eighty. Too. Yeah, we both would have been hit by that shit. Yeah, God damn. Uh, I would say it was uh, 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 the artifact. But I can't. I can't be a total dick. Cause like, yeah, he has an artifact. It's a shield. So now he found something because he didn't know everything about it. He knew some things about it when he investigated yeah. it the first time. Yeah. And then it spoke to him. It was like, here, throw me in front of you. Now. Is your artifact still intact? Yeah, you'd have to investigate it. Okay. Right. Are you guys still, are you still focusing on it, Yelmuk? Or do you uh, stop? I mean, it's, I threw it 60 meters away from me, so. <laughs> I imagine I need to at least go and pick it up and look at it again. Yep. Are we in uh, combat still, or? No. No. Everyone's dead. You killed everyone in this area. Well, I moved to pick it up and uh, check so it out. Do those kells count as mine or the dude on the void? So as, as you, right, as you pick it up, it's kind of, kind of. You can feel the heat uh, through your gauntlet. That's extremely hot. It's not burning you, but you definitely know it's hot. Cool. I'll do an invocation check on it to see if um, it's usable still. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah. So, um, as you're concentrating, it gets a little bit hotter as you're concentrating on it, but you definitely know it's still good. Okay, good. The but, artifact is fine, yeah. brothers. It can still stop things. However, I don't think I can do that again. Right. You get the sense that uh, you can't do that repeatedly multiple times. Damn. Maybe one more time, but then that's it. We lose uh, the right. artifacts, and, our, and that's it. Perhaps we should try and capture the next Void Horror rifle alive. Or be far enough away that we don't get caught in the explosion. That too, brother. Sister. Also, Sister. I'm not a space marine. But you're an adeptus <laughs> uh, sororitas. She's a battle sister. No. Yeah, she's a sister, not a brother. Yeah. I think she's a throne agent. She's a throne agent. No, she's a sister of an order. Technically, that, that I had to leave the order to point, join the Inquisition. So. Ah, okay. They're a dropout. Got it. Ah, uh, so she's a traitor to her order. That's a dropout, more a nun that stopped going to church. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, shit, that was fun. Goddamn. Mm -hmm. I got to eat shit for the first time. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're like hanging on by a thread, and you have the toughest defenses out of, like, all of us. Ah, uh, just, you know, just a bit of a breath. Took a breath out of me, nothing much. It's you know, only one serious. crit damage. He's yeah. fine. I'm fine. Don't God worry damn. about it. He does look a little frazzled, and you just see blast marks all over his armor. Any more actual damage work. to him, though, will possibly kill him. Well, we he wouldn't mean, see the blast marks because his armor is already black. It's twice it your toughest black bonus to be knocked unconscious. And you guys have, like, a huge-ass toughness, so he's probably not going to be out cold till he's taken 40 damage. Yeah. yeah. But it's fine. We don't actually die until we take 10-plus critical damage in any any category. Mm -hmm. And your suit's very... You, you notice as you're getting up, your suit's extremely damaged. Yeah, I'm aware. Extremely, extremely damaged. There's holes in it. It's functional. Just barely. Nothing the sort of the, the, the cement paste can fix. Yeah, it's true. Applying it. <laughs> is that what they use to prepare? Yeah, yeah. Prepare cement, cement paste yep. is to patch holes in battle. In battle. Okay. I've got uh, a bunch of that, so I can repair. I can fix up your armor next session. Hell yeah. Yeah. Might want to let the medic have a look at you before you seal up the holes. <laughs> I'll just leave one hole. I'll just leave one hole. Right, I was debating whether or not to be a dick and just like just fire it off. Like, nah, there has to be some warning for something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now True. you know when you see more of those things, you know what to do now. True. 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 And if they had a little more time, they had, they would have had that uh, thing set up in the hallway against you guys. They had the two <laughs> bolters, and they're God. wheeling that thing in. And Karnoth just caught him off guard. He's like, oh, fuck, wham, miss. Mm. There's a hole in the wall now. I imagine yeah, some panicking like grunts. <laughs> I would be panicking like, fuck, goddamn. All right, well, I suppose I'll well, see well, you guys well. next week. Yeah. Yep, you guys are like uh, a third of the way in the ship, too. You guys... All right. Yeah, that was, that was like the first hallway of many. Good to know. <laughs> I bet yeah, there will be experience. more Void Horror rifles, too. Uh, I'm not going to be a hope it's just they... rifles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not cannons. Yeah. Yeah, but so, yeah like a... Big, uh, like a big caliber rifle is what it is. Like uh, they, they 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 call them rifles, right? So a rifle, and in type dealio. But yeah, I, it's. I can imagine like a giant one of those that's mounted on a ship. Right. It's like fuck you, eat shit. In fact, or that's probably what took out our war barge. If you want my guess. Most likely. Pretty sure it's explosives on the void engine that took out a war barge. Well, yeah. 
I thought we well, disarmed them all. Well, they had to weaken all. it somehow. No, no, they kept oh, not our ship. Our, not the war barge. Oh, oh, the war okay. barge a few missions ago. Got it. The one that got destroyed in a few seconds? It right. dropped you, or not a few seconds, there's like... 30 seconds, right? You, you guys just barely screeched out, and you just saw a plume of fire, or plume of, like, hellfire lasers on... Laser, whatever the, the Eldar fire at people, right? That's, mm -hmm. what you, that's what you guys saw. Just a massive battle. And then a giant explosion behind you guys. Shockwave. Debris. So your only way off now is to the Inquisitor and his fleet. Fleet surviving the battle. And Speaking of which, oh, wasn't he supposed to be distracting them? He did. He has tied up six of them. He tied and up the six four. of them. And then all six of them turned and shot at the one ship that popped in behind them. No, 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 no. There was four waiting for you. Four waiting. And six were engaging the fleet. So there's so there ten of them more out than there. our intel had on them, then. Well, it was so like there's less 10, yeah. than twelve, more than two, I think, was it? Or was it like less than ten, more than two? About, yeah, less than twelve, more than more than five. But yeah, it was. It's, you guys confirmed ten vessels. Because six were engaging the fleet, four were waiting, waiting by the uh, the falchion that's just sitting there. So, yeah. and, as, and as you guys were coming in, you saw you guys noticed that the the falchion has like tentacles growing out of it and shit. So it looks it looked gnarly a bit as you guys were coming in. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Didn't you guys coming in either. <laughs> All right. Any All experience? Right. Oh. Uh, Six hundred points. 600 XP. 600, alright. Sweet. I mean, like we, that. Did, we pretty much like went to five minutes of just just, just mowing through them. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. actually two hours. That was two hours. That's two hours? Two, two, hours. two and a half, oh, closer to three. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm talking about in-game. No, we're talking about oh. just. I'm just, talking oh, about in-game. In-game was like a couple minutes. Yeah, in-game was just a few minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. I think that session, like the session, was about close to two, three hours. Yeah, session, session is three, uh, hours, yeah. three hours. Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the recording and get it uploaded to YouTube, but. Uh, Thanks for the fun, lads, and I'll see you all again next week. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. All right. No, hopefully. I'll be here. I'll be at home. Sweet. All right, catch you guys so, later. Go. I'm here now, though. I have satellite. I have satellite at home. <laughs> I have satellite there. <laughs> hey, Boca. What's up? I think my heavy bolter is the same accuracy as the shotgun I fired out yesterday. Oh god, that was crazy. <laughs> I never shot it. I've only shot twice in my life. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs>